Hey, that, that was fun, right? I was talking and no one was listening. <laughs> oh, I, I don't ever know if I can remember everything I just said. You hear him now? Okay. Uh, yeah. You just said, here we are, let's do it. Okay, here we are, let's do it. Can you pass the phone to Welcome. Like, connect your whole talk phone to it? The way we do it is we just start drawing it and uh, you, can follow, you just follow along. Yeah, uh, I've been moving fairly quickly. No, no. It keeps my mind going quickly. If I get going too fast for anybody, feel free to uh, no. the moderator, who is my wife, and just say, you know, or you can just unmute yourself and ask me to slow down a bit. Um, it's really hot in my studio right now. That's what I was talking about. It's it's like it's crazy hot here, and I'm and it's bothering me. I got a compression glass for Father's Day. My hand, because my hand is still together. So, but I can't draw with it. I'm gonna just okay. So my wife just keeps everyone muted, um, just uh, so that you can uh, hear me. I have a little bit of my music playing way far in the background. If I'm hoping you can't even hear it, it's not bothering. It's not bothersome. But if it is, just let us know and we'll turn it off. Um, so this is what we're going to, uh, okay, I guess that's it. Um, Kim, can you hear him now? I don't know. Maybe you it, need well, to was take the power away. Oh. You know? Okay, well, this is what we're going to go for. Something sort of like this. Well, you want to just do yeah. the eye like this. Where you at? Uh, some sort of, uh, I wanted to do a hot air balloon like the last time we were doing the, well, I just did it. So, hot air balloon thing here. Um, and uh, then I kind of changed up like I was messing around earlier. This is what we're going to go for. Uh, I sent a message to have a, a bowl or something, something that you can do a nice big circle with. Only because I suck at circles. You can just freehand a circle if you want. But, but we want it for the, air, for the hot air balloon. Last week, or last stream uh, that I hate the word pupil. <laughs> well, this morning when I was figuring out the drawing, my wife said, why don't you grab a saucer? And uh, so I've decided I, I freaking hate the word saucer. Yeah, he was going off on me this morning. <laughs> this is just a stupid word. Okay, I'm drawing on a bigger paper this time around so that you, can, so that you guys can see me a little bit better. Um, just, uh, whatever size paper we're going to do it the long, we're going to do uh, the long hallway. I think I saw that. Um, and we're going to do it in two, so we're going to cut the, it's going to be, in, so it's going to be a top half and a bottom half, not a thirds. The top half we're going to fit most of our hot air balloon in, and the bottom half we're going to do the uh, grasshopper in. On this sketch, it's really difficult to fit them both in there on a piece of paper. So make sure that your hot air balloon, it's going to, it's, you want, you know, it's going to be about the same size as your, maybe even a little smaller than your grasshopper or, or vice versa. If you want to highlight your hot air balloon more than your grasshopper, that's fine too. But I'm just saying, I, I, I quickly sketched this out like three times. And every time, I, I didn't have enough room for the grasshopper at the bottom. So uh, you probably want to try to put your circle at the top as high up as you possibly can so you can have room for your, okay? Let's just jump right into it now. 
we'll, we'll take a break at the top of the hour. And hello, everybody. Thanks again for joining me and the rest of us. Okay, if you have a, a saucer. <laughs> and cheers, by the way. <laughs> If you have a saucer or whatever, go ahead and draw your circle. Draw it really light. I don't know. Some people say this. I cannot draw circles this big. Especially now with my hand as funky as it is. And I'm, oh, yeah, and I'm, I didn't do the bottom part of the circle when I just kind of outlined that around it because I want to bring that little part of the balloon down. Those old vintage balloons are just full on like a circle. You could just do a circle and a little nozzle at the bottom too if you want. But all right, so go ahead and draw your circle in there. Um, I hate keep making excuses, but my hand and my <laughs> arm is still not 100%. So my lines are gonna be a little sketchy. Um, also, oh. all of these outlines, uh, for those of you who haven't been here before, you want to do these initial outlines really light so that you can, you can hide them later on. So almost like you're drawing a light bulb, a little groove somewhere in there, and then a little, uh, let me zoom in here. I was just going to ask, we've got that pixelated. Thing going again. Is anyone watching? Okay. Little uh, super elongated oval there. And then another right about in the middle of the page. Actually, yeah. Another like oval, pretty much the same size as that one right above it. This is the little ring that the, the, the ropes that are holding the thing that encases the balloon. I don't know enough about hot air balloons. And then we're gonna thicken that out. So something like that. I can put my saucer down. That's a bowl. You didn't oh. use a saucer. Oh. <laughs> oh saucer. yeah, saucer's a plate. Right? Our saucers were That's too big. Stupid word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, this is the uh, back side of the ring here. Just like that. That simple. Okay, we got our balloon there. <laughs> now let's go ahead and give this grasshopper a on this sketch I did this morning, on this one, I was doing this, I was doing it like the rope was holding him. But after I, I made it a little too much, like, you know, this arch that made it look more like a, a bee than a grasshopper. So I'm not gonna do that as much, that, that whole. Arch? Arch, yeah. Okay. Um, I like the idea of the, a big grasshopper, almost bigger than the balloon. So if you can fit this whole grasshopper in here, um, the bottom part, you want to leave room for his legs. So let's say this bottom half, let's actually say this bottom half of our page, let's just cut that in half. So the body, of your grasshopper is going to be up here and then you're going to have room for his kind of tail and his legs i guess maybe maybe it's a little heavier on the top part there all right we'll just do it um okay do like a let me think of what this you know some sort of uh bean kind of shape thing there or like a jelly belly this is gonna be his head and we'll form that out later. Um, and then this sort of deal here, I'll show you, let's see. Kind of like a little arch that, that sort of comes back around there.
Now that's a, like a really uh, elementary way of that, but we'll 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 shape it out better. Uh, all right. This is like the I, I don't know what it is. I don't. I should have studied it again, but it's that's like, the thorax. This is. Mm -hmm. Oh, what you look it up? That's right. Okay. This is this <laughs> thorax. So kind of shape that in there. Are you drawing, Adrian? No. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm really not. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's do, uh, okay. Let's, let me think where I want to put his leg. I want it to come back a bit. That looks like a, like a slug or with a funny head right now, huh? Let's see, okay, right, maybe about right here you can do, uh, that's, this is gonna, so what, what it's gonna be is like, oh, that one doesn't look good. So it's like, this is, what we're drawing right here is this, it's kind of like, it bends out, so this is, so what we just did there is kind of like just, the, it's coming at us, so it's a little skewed a bit. And then, a nice good little, I don't know, what do you call that? Something. A leg. A leg. And then another little portion of it. A little longer once he already ran out of paper. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe this one went a little too long. <laughs> You'll figure out something. We'll fix. Then. We'll fix it. Okay. Just building the shapes to make this sort of work. So right around here, there's the chunk of his. Let's see. Let me, we're gonna do this uh, the femur leg. This is back like the middle leg. What do you call it, Adrian? Let's do. And um, the hind leg. It's kind of going back. It's not the very back leg, but. Well, so, I yeah, just... this one I'm just trying to figure out. Something kind of like that. Once we start shaping them out more, it'll all m make a little more sense. So don't get too frustrated if you feel like it doesn't look anything like what we're going for. Let's just put a cert. I'm just gonna put a light circle there. It's like a, the kneecap. That's how I'm thinking of it. And bulk of his leg, the tibia, I guess that's what it's called. That's right. And <laughs> Cheating. I don't, these are like, um, I don't know. Where are we at? So you drop this long leg and then they, they can, you can just make them simple uh, ovals too you want. I guess I could have made those shapes slightly simpler. But after I, every time I see everyone's drawings, I feel like I'm over, I'm over explaining it. So I've, I'm trying to do less of that. So again, if you feel like I'm way ahead and I'm moving too far, I, or like, you know, being too broad, just let me know. And um, I'll get a little more um, definitive with what I'm working on to help you out. But I feel like most everybody is moving right along. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, that's their back leg called. Um, their hind, their hind, their, I don't know. This, we're gonna do this big back leg. This one, I think you can exaggerate it. I, every time I kind of sketch it out, I think of it like a drumstick, like a, like a chicken, a, a chicken, chicken leg. 
So I'm thinking it goes maybe clear up right here. Maybe that's a little too chicken leggy looking, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like real wide here, and then it kind of gets a little thinner, and then a real kind of uh, defined thing happening here. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh I, I I I'm struggling to talk today for some reason. I haven't really talked to anybody for a while, so if you know what I'm trying to get at, you feel free to shout it out. Um, okay, uh, we're right up around here. It's like a knuckle <laughs> a kneecap. We're gonna bring this long part of his leg down here. It doesn't matter that the shape of that is always so is kind of weird so it doesn't really matter this comes maybe all the way down here and then so one more little extension piece and then another one whenever i draw insects like this with these legs like this, this is pretty much how i do it I, I don't really know how like which one's longer i just feel like they get shorter and shorter and then there's like a little foot I've never really looked into exactly what's happening there. Maybe I should one day. On my little diagram, it says a claw. A claw? So calls that a claw. At the end? Mm -hmm. It's a claw? Well, I don't know. Okay. I mean, well, that's fine. We can call it a claw. Okay. I feel like we got almost the grasshopper there. <laughs> it also says tarsus. Okay. We're going to... Uh, we're going to give him the, his little wing. So that just kind of pokes out from his, what's this one called again here? The thorax? No, that. Not thorax. What is it called? The abdomen? No, this part right here. Top part. Yeah, the thorax. Okay, the thorax. So his wing kind of pokes out from uh, right underneath this part. I feel like drawing bigger makes it a little easier for you guys to see. I think it does. Um, and it can go. I want to do kind of a smaller wing. It's not going to pass my leg, my back leg. So there's like just this one little wing here. And then another wing that kind of peeks out from underneath that one. And this is goes behind, mine is going to go behind the leg, so you can't even really see it. So. But if your leg is further back this way, then it, this wing would maybe sort of finish off like that. If you need to be able to see that wing. The hind wing, they call that. This one's the fore wing and this one's the hind wing. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, come back to that guy. No, wait, let's, sorry. <laughs> well, let's do this back part. So every, when I do this, I, I like, I like to do, so I'm just gonna stick with that, what I have there, that, that uh, shape. And I do like, um, let me just draw it first and I'll figure out what I wanna call that. What do I want to call that? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I want to, how I want to say what that is. Does that mean, um, I want to say it's like a little J almost or something. I don't know. But you get this, you get what the idea. What are you idea. talking about? The body shape no, or those this, little this, scaly these things? Little, just how I do it. How I've done like that made it look like it's stacked like cascade. What's that? Uh, anyway, it's like a I don't know. You see what I did? <laughs> we, why do we gotta give it a label? And then the bottom part of it, I'll just do. Is that making sense? Yeah. I, mean, I like to put a little, these are on mine, these are gonna be a little like uh, flathead screws. 
I, don't, I, I always like doing that. You don't have to put those in there, of course. Okay. Let's get, let's make sure, let's make his head work. I'm gonna have, I want him to kind of look like he's like, turn, looking, looking a little bit towards us. So, I don't know, you can pretty much do this. Just do a nice big eye here. That's sort of, what do you call this shape there? A bean, bean shape? No, I don't. Like that. And then if you're, you just kind of imagine his other eye, you're just seeing a little bit of it over here. <clears throat> and then you can go ahead and, let's see, make like a, make like a tree and get out of here. Oh, uh, let's see, give a little, uh, call like a bag here, a little bag, and then, I don't know what their whole face stuff is called, but, <laughs> oh, stop laughing at me. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's confusing me. Am I laugh? No, yeah, you're laughing at me, and then I'm getting self-conscious. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll stop. No, it's okay. I don't know if that's that's what we're going for. That's what I'm doing there. I always think of this like um, like a tooth. You want to know what it's called? Mm, sure. A palp. A what? Palp. A palp. Ah, right, boy, I just sort of. I don't know. That's 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 something. There's something there. <laughs> we'll shade it and fix it. And I don't even know if that's really what, what is it supposed to, what yeah, it's supposed to kind of look like. I'm gonna put another one kind of right here. And then I like to think of this little. This is the palp, isn't it? This oh, well, thing there that, was a little tooth thing that came Yeah. Out. I thought that's what you So were back out. here, I just put this little, little loop, and then I kind of, this, I exaggerate mine. I don't think theirs go out like this crazy, but I like to make mine sort of exaggerated. I don't know what, what, what it is. It's called the pout, but. I wonder if it helps, you know, push things into like their mouth. Their little feeler. And then this is the other one on the other side. And it's sort of like shape. It's almost got like this look on the on the tail. So I just do like a telescopic. That's the word I was trying to. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's the word I was looking for. I think. I like to make this look sort of telescopic. Now I really feel like I'm cruising super fast, you guys. So. If you feel like if it is if I am, then just let me know if I'm going too fast for you or not explaining enough. But you're looking at the screen; you can see what we're doing. No one saying anything, okay. so I think cool. you're okay. Um, let's do so. Right in between their eyes is where the uh, antenna come. I every I, whenever I do this antenna. I sense I get a feel, I mean, I sense it has a, um, a different attitude, like if it's bent back or if it's straight up. The bent back thing feels very sinister. Are you, do you mean like an eyebrow? Yeah, almost like when an eye, like someone's eyebrow lifted. Like, I feel like this bent back is kind of sinister. I don't know, I just didn't like it as much. But if you want to do that, I think the bent back, because it feels almost like a horn. Maybe that's why it does that. So uh, I just do a, U, a little U here, comes out right about here. And I kind of like mine to go just uh, do that nice and light because I think that's going to be sort of telescopic too. So 
So I have mine kind of going up more rather than back. So one going up there. And one going up there. Okay. I feel like I want to put his other leg in here, but I can't decide if it be up here, back here. Well, I'm not going to mess with it. All right, let's start making this balloon look like a balloon. So maybe about, I mean, think of the balloon in a top half, center, and a bottom. It's maybe about right at the, the bottom. Well, there you go. Thirds, maybe? In the thirds. But yeah, just do the same sort of arch. Not as big as this arch, but a little bit of an arch all the way across. That's the... I'm going to call it the hood that's enclosed, that's holding in the balloon. I don't think they even, I mean, that's like the, I like doing old, old, more old school stuff because they don't even use those anymore, right? It's just one big unit. Okay. Now let's take these, let's bring all these ropes. So starting from the outside ones, just do a straight line from uh, the edge of this one to the top to the top of this one. So, and I'm just a light, a light straight line, and you can darken it in later. But so that one there, and this one to there. And then let's just do a center one from there to there. That to the front, I huh? guess. That's to the front loop, right? What? Oh, I said that's obviously to the front loop. Yeah, to the front, to right here, the front loop. And then we're just going to do two more. So one that goes here and then one that goes here. So, and then right here, so what I'm imagining is it like goes to this ring and it ties around this ring. So even though we just have one line there, I'm just going to make this, because it's going to be like a rope, but I just don't want to mess with those. So I want to do a shape like this. That's, can you see that? That's mm -hmm. wrapped around. And then on this side, this all gives it sort of a 3D or, you know, whatever. <laughs> depth, maybe. Huh? Depth? Yeah, some depth. And then this would run just straight. So that's where it goes to the ring, ties onto the ring, and then, we're, then we figure out how does this line up with our, how is this holding up our grasshopper? Now, since everyone's body parts on this grasshoppers probably ended up in different places, we just, um, so I did do the ring on this, on this little sketch, but they did do it on this. And I'm thinking it goes, well, bag that, let's just do this. I, I feel like it, it, it's not gonna be as much of a, like an hourglass, maybe it would work. Hmm. Let me think. Yeah, maybe it goes out. It, this one kind of goes out from the bottom point here. Do this really light and just take it. See, I, I kind of want it to just go more down. So I'm just going to take mine down here like this. And I feel that's it. Mine's going to line up. So it's going to be. That makes sense. That first one goes there. To the first leg. Yeah, to right behind this first leg. And then we kind of want to still do the same separation. Uh, boy, 
This one's gonna go the spacing. Spacing. Thank you. <laughs> this one's gonna go uh, behind this leg. This one right here. This one's gonna go in front of the big leg, and then this one tucks underneath the big leg. Then I think one from just this edge goes out about there. And that's going on the other side of him. And that, that one that we just drew that one's going on the other side of him. If you want to run it up to the balloon, maybe about right there. And this, these, are the, these are the ones from on the back side. That one is going to go to there, and it doesn't really matter where you place these ones because they're not really in the picture as much. They're not a focal point. I just I like to put them in there to help add a little depth. Yeah, so this outside one goes behind. So it goes, it stops, you know, on the, where the balloon comes. That these back ropes go back behind it. I feel like you're, probably everybody's about right like that, huh? Huh. I'm trying to debate if I want to put in his uh, the, uh, the leg on the other side. I sometimes feel like that just makes it confusing. That's something that I'll just deal with later. Okay, let's put in. Uh, has everybody got that? Everyone uh, pretty much got that. Yeah. Okay. I see some heads nodding. Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh, I guess we can start turning this into, bringing it to life. So let's put in a little pupil. <laughs> oh, Do they remember. have pupils? Well. I thought they just had black eyes. I but. did. I have seen pictures of them that there is like a little pupil in there. Mm -hmm. So, that, so. I did this one first. This one I just did kind of out of out of memory. But I that, I started feeling like this looked like a bee, so it bugged me. So I looked one up, and then I saw a picture of one right. had like a pupil, but the whole eye eye was kind of black and in. Yeah. So I like that look. That looks more grasshopper to me than mm -hmm. it does. than that look. So yeah. and if you think about um, Jiminy, right? What's his name? Yes, the cricket. Jim, yeah, Jiminy Cricket. He's got that, those little dilated yep. pupils, so. He's a cricket, though. Oh, that's but. right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Oh, jeez. Closer to a cricket than a bee or a wasp. Okay, well, put in a little pupil. And then, um, these are the highlights, so I like to, I'm, I wanted to do two. So he got his nice good dilated people is dilated when they're bigger or smaller oh well mm. Doesn't matter. taking me back to my teenage years okay there you go when it matters you those in there and now we're, we're going to do is so instead of shade like filling this in really dark we're just going to shade it like it's a circle so um gonna have darker like all well, my shading you know darker uh left and bottom bottom and left side are always darker and then it gets a little lighter lighter as it gets towards the top here so so it's almost like it's completely black but we want to make sure we can see that little pupil in there 
I don't know. I like the way that looks. That's why I like. I went with the pupil. It looks more grasshopper to me than just a. It does. I agree. The other one did look like a wasp or a bee. Yeah, it looked like a yellow jacket or mm -hmm. something. Bother me. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. The other reason I feel like people probably, you know, I'm working a lot bigger now. I'm working on a um, 16 by 20 or something. 18 by 24. So I feel like if I can fill that in in that time, you probably were able to fill in yours. I don't know if you can see the pupil on this other side, but I'm just going to put it in anyway. And I feel like the uh, highlight might be just right there. And this one I think you can get pretty dark with as far as the shading goes. It's just the eye off to the side. It's like tube sock wonky. All right, let's give his. Did you ever figure out what this was called? Is this his thorax? Mm -hmm. Some a little more definition. So it's like a lump. I always just every time I think of it, I just think of it's like a shield on his back. Yeah, it looks like armor. The armor. That was what I was trying to say. Well, English isn't my first language. <laughs> So I just did like um, a lump, a lump, and then a kind of a bigger lump. So we're now kind of darkening in these lines. And I like to do a little, like almost makes it look like that is uh, like, a mount, like a mound, kind of, or, yep, that. So let's uh, shape out his head a little bit more. It doesn't matter really what kind of shape you do. I just feel like you don't want it to just be that simple bean shape. So maybe cut, cut, in, cut in some of the edges a little bit more. I don't like the way this looks on mine. So I'm just gonna free that something there. And on his antennas, I think. Do you, know, do you still have your picture pulled up, Agent? I just, um, I think I it's it. telescopic. I guess it doesn't matter. But they are kind of. I mean, they. Yeah. So that's how I'm kind of doing my antenna. I kind of draw a, each one on its own, each little. Using the outline that I had, and then the long one, I'm just going to do like that. So, uh, I don't know if anyone needs it, but I'm pretty much just drawing shapes like this inside that the lines that. I feel like it defines it a little bit more if you draw each one on its own. Okay, I want to bounce back up to this balloon real quick because there was. Um, I like the really fancy, I guess it's like a, what you, like a vintage, like these antique kind of balloons. Uh, so I just want to add a little bit more to it. Oh, I'm using a, my pen is leaking all over the place. So I just did take like a little line to there and then just do like these little lines. So let me show you on it. 
So if that's the rope, I just took one rope to here. Look at camera. Yeah. And then I just do little lines like this. It's like almost like it's tied like a, you know, like it's uh, wrapped knocked. around. Huh? Wrapped, wrapped around, around it. it. Yeah. And if you wanted to get into that and add detail to it later, you can. I just, it, it serves the purpose of just doing that. And then when it, you get to this one, it's going to go. I don't know if that even makes any sense, but. What? Oh. Well, I this think one it I gives it less, huh? I think it gives it yeah. dimension. And then I'm, I just do these like loops of this rope. So from the new, if, we, if they're Y's, I just took a loop from this, the end of this Y over to this one and just did two of them. Little decorative roping. Oh shit, that went to the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's hard to talk and draw at the same time. And chew gum. And just, chewing gum. I'm just joking. All right, let's give uh, on the bottom part of the spoon just outline that a little bit more so it Is that a little more definition? Then now you can, if you want, fill in your line a little bit, your balloon line. Darken that in. Also, if you wanted to kind of shape it, the hood part a little bit like that, Something we're trying. So where like the rope is kind of tugging it, like pulling it. So it's that might do something. I don't know. Are those wrinkles in the fabric? Those are kind of little wrinkles. I was just seeing if they'd work. I wasn't trying to. I want to do like I don't know some decorative. I don't know. I don't know. No, I'm going to pass on that. Okay, let's go back down to the grasshopper. Let's give some, oh, let's get his legs figured out. <laughs> okay, so this one that goes forward, if you were able to really kind of make that shape, this will kind of make it look like it's coming forward. Your camera's bouncing. Sorry. See what, what a, I don't know if that makes sense, but it goes this way and then there's a bend there and then that's his leg coming out this way. And I don't know what you want to put right here, like a, like his kneecap. Just carve that out a little bit more to make it look more like a insect leg. Another like, I don't know, black kneecap thing here. I felt like mine, my leg was a little long. So just shaping out this leg a little bit. And then I guess you said it's a claw at the end? Well, it was just on my picture. I think like this is a little pad. But it was on the back leg. Never mind this, whatever this is here. That's not supposed to be here. <laughs> I'll figure out some way to fix that. But So the claw may have just been on the back. Oh. Hind leg. 
Well, uh, it's not like they're like super spiky legs, so you can put in some spikes on the leg or thorns. And if you have room in here, so I like that it kind of that it, it like you know it tucks kind of tucks in there that there's that his head is its own unit and then his body. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but because on our outline it was like one whole piece, but I but I like that that's. Um, but that's that. <laughs> so you can get it to do that. I like that look. Um, all right, let's get make this how how this leg connects into the body. I swear, I think this thing's the femur here. <laughs> and let's just shape it out a little bit more. And that took, that goes into the body and then, so. I think you can just do something like that. Eventually this, this body, like, I keep wanting to say it's a, what'd you say, armor? Yeah, it's like armor. Hi kitty. These shapes that I'm doing here, I'm just trying to figure it out. It doesn't really matter what I don't think all that much in there. So we got that leg kind of going into, I kind of feel like I built this sort of wrinkle, that, like that's kind of like in into this part of the body. All right, this big, huge hind leg. Let's, that's gonna come into his body. Um, I think if you can just make it sort of look like it's just going into the body here. When I start talking like that, when I'm like, oh, I'll just do it like that, doesn't I feel like that that doesn't that doesn't matter that much. You don't. It doesn't. When you look at when you think of a grasshopper, you don't ever think about this part. You just think of this big, huge leg, hind leg. I don't know why I'm having a hard time saying hind leg. All right, let's carve out that hind leg. I'm gonna exaggerate mine a little bit more. What time is it? Seven thirty nine. Cool. And then I'm gonna run this down a little bit here. We have a bunch of forms to this one. Well, I'm just going to fill in black anyway, so. Make that leg. I'm going to do, I like a, all right, so I'm drawing this little bit inside here. And I took this picture of this photograph. My friend, my friend, a really good friend of mine hates 
grasshoppers. Like he's terrified of them. In fact, after we finish our drawings, like a, if I want to, I was just going to ask anyone to post their picture to um, tag him in uh, in your post. <laughs> he's terrified of grasshoppers. Um, but uh, anyway, I took a picture of this grasshopper and it had this like on his leg, on his hind leg. I really liked the way it looked. It was like, let me see. So I have this shape in here and then just a really light line in here so I know it's the center. And it's almost like these V, Vs. That makes sense. A chevron pattern. Like chevron pattern? Is that what the chevron's like? I don't know. I, my, I, it doesn't look all that right to me. This should this should have been really like. I was gonna say that shape that you drew in his leg reminded me of the Indian motorcycle logo. Yeah. I can remember what that logo looks. Like. Oh yeah, on the the hood on mm -hmm. the uh, front fender now. Boy, I hope yours could have worked out better than how mine just did there. <laughs> Maybe I can hide it by adding ones in the. What do you like? I don't know. It doesn't look as like how that photograph that I took. Well, nobody's seen the photograph. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's finish this leg. So this one, this leg's coming out. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious, yeah? That looks like a grasshopper to me. Let's figure out these wings. I, I'm never great at drawing wings because wings, are, they're kind of almost, I, don't, I guess a grasshopper's wings aren't really yeah, transparent. They, they kind of blend right into their body. You hardly know they have them. I know. So maybe just, I, I, I never want to put too much det detail in a, in a wing. But they, there's, it's almost like they have like a. Oh, and you've got a picture of a. Oh yeah, let's see it. Is there one? So she, um, oh, Adrian posted yeah. it. I don't. I guess I can click it and then it'll open it. Oh, oh yeah. Back there. Oh yeah. See, there's like dark, dark. Sorry, <laughs> we were just clicking on that link, <clears throat> looking in the picture. Thanks, Adrian. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, these darn wings. Uh, I feel like the only part of it that really matters are the outside. And then the rest of it on the inside, I just do like a light, almost like I'm doing a tree bark. I don't know, I've never really figured it out. Or maybe like just little Oh, I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry. That, <laughs> You're I, always just. Well, I'm winging always it. just trying to. Yeah, I mean, we are all just winging it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think just like a little crease in the wing here. It's nice to see. That's the only one that matters to me. A couple of these little creases in the wing there, and then the bottom wing. I don't know. In my opinion, that's all that matters. Once we, like, if when you shade it, if you want to just do little lines in there, I, I, I don't know. I just I don't really care about the wing. What time is it? Seven fifty-five. 
Okay, what should we move into? Should we start shading? Um, yeah, do this bottom half. This part? Yeah. This tail? Where is? Yeah. Or is that all the detail you that's need? That's pretty much all the detail that's there. I mean, once Before you shade shading. it, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's pretty good on detail there. Okay, let's let's start shading this thing. Um, we're just gonna do like a, my shading. So if you have your own technique for shading, then you can do that. But I guess I'm gonna do a really light shading on the the balloon part. Um, what I what I'm trying to go for is to have it end up that a highlight is kind of like right. See that. So I'm gonna work. I don't. I don't want to add too much detail to this part because I'm gonna end up writing um, characters in here. Uh, and I don't know. This part isn't very fun to me. This big giant <laughs> balloon. So I'm just gonna do this quick kind of shading to where there's this part is gonna be the highlight and you'll see it'll do the trick so it's darker around here and darker over here and then it just gets lighter as it goes to this area I have a lot of paper that I'm trying to fill in too, so. Oh yeah, I was gonna change this pen because this pen is just leaking all over the place, but it's been a while since I had some ink marks on a drawing, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Like I said, I'm just doing a quick version of that, but that does the trick. Like that works for me, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, we can spend all day trying to do that, but you can see what I did there. And if you decide you want to get really detailed with that, you can you can do that. I just don't want to spend the rest of this hour shading that. Once I add my characters in here, that'll hide most of that anyway. So um, I just wanted to make sure we got that shaded in. Um, what do we got? 759? Okay. Um, let's, I'm going to just shade in this portion here. So it's a little darker inside there, and then it just gets lighter. So when I say darker inside, well, that makes sense. You, I think you get that. Just like that. And then maybe just a little bit of... Shading on the actual balloon. And we'll come back into that, but the drawing is of the grasshopper, so I just don't want to get lost in this balloon. You can tweak out your balloon however you want, add any kind of things that you want to it, but. Like obviously those 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 ropes you can thicken them out, make them you know add a little detail more detail to them. 
Um, but we're not, I'm not going to do that. We, we can do that if we have time towards the end. Hey, do we have um, July schedule yet? We I think I was going to take out. July off since it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, just because we won't be in town. That. I don't know yet. We'll figure that well, out. I was just going to ask uh, everybody how Thursdays are working for them during the summer months. Yeah, I, I haven't thought about July yet. I was thinking. Well, let's take a five minute break. I gotta use the restroom and grab another beer, and uh, then we'll come back and start shading this grasshopper thing. And then we'll take a look and see how everybody's doing if you're all up for that. Well, I'm looking at the monitor of my drawing, and I think that looks crazy. Huh. Well, we'll make it work. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. Oh, okay. We we're just, just I, oh, we were just maybe I'll have oh. to do a fox next time. I know what I wanted to do is a horse, but horses you, are so hard. You say that's one of the most difficult. It's ones. the hardest thing for me to draw, but it would be fun to struggle in front of everybody. 
<laughs> we were just talking about how the second hour go. How, I was just telling my wife how fast the first hour it just goes so quick, and then she reminded me that the second hour goes even quicker. So just get right into it. Um, do we want to look, like look, or should we just go? Oh, we can share with. Do you guys want to share where you're, where everybody's at? I like to see it because then it makes me feel like we're like we're, I'm on the right path. If you're if you're willing to share your picture, we'd like to take a look at it, and I'll crack open my elusive public house elusive Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right on right on track. Oh brilliant. Oh, I love the bomb. <laughs> oh. Awesome. See, everyone knows everyone's right on track. Oh yeah, I see I see I see Ghostface Killer in the background. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I better open this beer. It's going to blow up all over me. Yes. Oh, is he wearing a, the mask? Oh, that's awesome. The, uh, Oops, yeah. no, sorry. Go ahead. You're go good. Back? You're good. No, you're good. Awesome. Keep going. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I got Benjamin's yet. Nice. Chest, please. Yeah, we saw. We, we oh, saw her. okay. Yeah. Did I? Yeah, yeah. She. I do her. that every time. Yeah. She shows. I just look at work for videos. Sorry. That's okay. I'm trying <laughs> where I'm at. Where am I? Here we go. <laughs> All right, that looks like everyone, like, no, everyone's right on track. So, except for me, I lost my pen. Ah, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just drop this little flag here, a little rope that kind of has this little flag attached to it. It's one of those, like, you know, no, I have no idea. I never what noticed. What kind of flag is called? It's a flag. <laughs> These are, so it's like the little tight wrapped around knot there and then the rope hooks into like a little scroll like thing. So I'm going to put, so every time, whenever I hear the word grasshopper, I I, I used to watch um, the, the TV series Kung Fu with, the, with my dad when we lived in California. It, like a, it was like a summer me and my brother and my dad watched all the time. I loved it. So that's why I did this whole, that's why I, there's all these Chinese characters. That's, I was going to do the Kung Fu symbol because he's young grasshopper. So that's where I was handed with mine. The, the hot air balloon just happened to be, I don't know. Then, then I was thinking about doing uh, Chinese lanterns kind of floating off up into here. So that would be fun. Okay, um, but they're really difficult to do in pen because, you know. The, they're white. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just uh, start shading this. It looks like everyone knows what they're doing already, so I won't get too. I'm just going to shade. I'm going to start down here at the head. And uh, as I'm shading, if, I, if something comes up, and I'm just going to add it in there. Um, I feel like there's, no. I don't know. I'm just going to go and we'll see. <clears throat> I like the bags and the eyes and all that. So I'm just going to start around here. I'm going to, I'll zoom in a little closer. And I'm just, now I'm just going to just do my shading and see if I can fill it out as I'm as I'm doing it and if something comes up then I'll start and I'll add it in but I don't I, I'm not thinking of anything right now <laughs> my head is just blank I used to do this character I was going to try to make it like my movie logo and all that a long time ago. It just had these two big buck teeth. 
And that's what I'm thinking of these as being. And the first drawing that I did of it, I, I did, because they look like this big old grill, like they're fit, like right, this, whatever these things are called. It looks like they have, like they just got a big old grin. Let's see. I don't think you didn't see it. That was my first sketch. Oh. <laughs> like the oh, big old, yeah. but that's what it looks like. Like it's got this big old cheesy smile, but I don't know. I didn't love that. Thing. Well, I can see you were already... going with the Kung Fu even on that drawing. Yeah, that's why I did like the, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to, I don't, I'm not, I'm just going for now. I'll, I'll, if something comes up, I'll put it in and I'll say, oh, this is what I'm doing here. But for right now, I just feel like You're it's... just shading and going? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Yep, just shading and going. Okay. <laughs> so if anyone needs to, to hold on, they better speak up. Well, I mean, you saw everyone's drawings. Everyone knows what they're doing. Well, actually, I didn't get a... I, well, that happens so quick. I don't actually see anyone's drawing, sadly. Not until you post them. Put my X's in here. There's so many things I haven't done recently after I've done the drink and draws. Because <laughs> I exposed it. No. Well, not, uh, not Time to start today, fresh but... with new things, yeah. anyway. But yeah, I can't give it my full shading treatment because it's, you know, it's two hours. Two hours is good, though. More than, I agree. I mean, I, I am I'm been, obviously going to stick around and draw for a little bit longer after, too. More than you've been giving yourself recently. This is true. So if you're new, like if you're, if you haven't done it. I think everybody. Before? I think. Okay. Everybody, you recognize everyone? If there's any. Um, there might be two that I don't. We're just doing the shading. And um, yeah, I don't know. I, it's like I, it's, if there's more people who have been here before, I just don't want to repeat myself. So, well, repetition is the mother of learning. Repetition so works, David. So repetition it? works. What is that? Hundred points. It's all helpful. Huh? It's all helpful. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what was that movie? Well, if well, anyone knows what movie that's from, I'll give them a chance, but maybe they don't. I can tell you who said the line, too. Repetition works, David. <laughs> it's Robert Downey Jr. says it. Look at, oh, well. I was going to say, I didn't get too creative with this one, but I guess he's tied up in a balloon. In the third, in the third hour is where we start doing all of the really kind of crazy stuff. Did you want to know what the movie was? Is it bothering you at all? No, I moved on. Yeah, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just tell me, though? Yeah. It's from Natural Born Killers. Mm. I don't remember him being in that movie. He's the reporter. Indian Gallup, New Mexico. Yeah, he's the reporter, remember? I, I haven't know. seen that in a long I time. I know, I was I just do thinking. I want to go watch that. I was thinking, hmm. We watched Kill Bill with our kids the other <laughs> night. <laughs> My son couldn't handle it. <laughs> My daughter seemed to like she it. She liked it. She gave it a thumbs up. Yeah. You know, women getting revenge. You can jump on board. 
Well, it's like she's in the like the cinematic sort of part of it too. Yeah, she does. Really well done movie. Let's see. I'm gonna put. Would that be too? Would that be too weird to put a yin yang in there? That's well, Japanese. You got the kanji going. Well, that's not kanji anyway. But oh, yeah. what's kanji? That's Japanese. Oh. Uh oh, I, I want to. Well, like what do they call the Chinese characters? Is there not a name for those? There is. Well, I guess I'm going to have to Google it. You are. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> yeah, but remember I was going to do, I was, I was going to start doing that in you know, all under my pieces. But maybe I'm not going to anymore. They have like, the, um, the grasshopper, they have like pattern, like, like patterns, like you know, like these darker areas of pattern. I just haven't done mine yet because I, I feel like it's a perfect opportunity to do something neat. I know on my backside on this, so on the the tail version on this one, that's what I'm gonna do. But I did skulls. Um, I'll just put those in right now. So I don't forget. Pattern? What do you call that? Like a print, like a... I'm sorry, I was Googling. It's Hanzai or... I may not be pronouncing that right. Kanji. Hanzi. 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 Anzi. <laughs> do they do the handsy? That doesn't sound very Chinese. What else did I want to put in there? Let's just put in a. That's very kung fu. Wu Ting. That's well, I know I was gonna put a Wu in there. I was gonna put the but they're not Wu Tang they label in there or logo, but and I opted not to. Mm, too obvious. Yeah, you? I think so. Maybe I'll just do a pattern for now and markings. Like, I feel like it could say something. I was going to do FTW, but then that's not very fun. <laughs> I've kind of committed myself to, to the Kung Fu aspect. I don't know. I'd like to go to China one day. I'm just sitting here thinking, I really don't know a whole lot about the Chinese culture in general, rather than what I've seen in movies and things. And that's really not much of any. You mean like House of Flying Daggers? I, I just, I don't know. I just mean in general, the um, American portrayal of Chinese culture well, what the and Chinese, then what about the movies that are not American portrayals that are actually I don't know Chinese? that I've ac ever really watched one yeah so you, you that um Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon that's a Chinese made that's Chinese oh, made movie it? yeah that's not well then give them some tea House of Flying Daggers huh <laughs> some tea. give them some tea a nice little teapot oh you know maybe some uh bamboo isn't there, a, yeah, a, and that's actually what it, his legs reminded me of when you were drawing out his Ooh, some bamboo. legs, was this, was, or his antennae. Like? It just bamboo looks look just like? like how you did you his Google? feelers. I, I haven't drawn bamboo for a long time. It looks just like his feelers, except it goes... I know, I just, there's, certain, there's something that happens in bamboo that that definitely makes it bamboo, well, and it I just forgot. It has those little twigs with leaves sticking out, just like think of our backyard. I know. 
I just it's been a long time since I've drawn bamboo, but I like that idea. Baboon. My phone thought I was going for. Well, guys, I'm. <laughs> well, here's some nice. Meat. Oh yeah, they have like a shoot. I don't really have anywhere where I can put it. I no. maybe just have to have it sticking out of his back or something. Then that, that might be too confusing. Yeah, I would really love to go to China. I remember uh, your Dutch cousin who, did you ever look on his Facebook post and he was up in those really cool mountains? Chris? Yeah. In China. Did you ever see those? <sighs> hmm. Good timing on the grasshopper, though. Oh. I've seen like a thousand. Oh yeah, yeah. in the last week. We we just because there was a over where we're working on our gallery, there must have been some eggs right underneath, but that they had hatched. There was probably a thousand that just hatched right out of that. All right, and I didn't see those ones. I'm seeing them in our backyard, and I'm thinking, well, those are flowers. There goes everything. Because they're really, aren't they just locusts or are locusts completely different? Oh, well, you're asking the wrong person. That's right, that's your field. Knowing that stuff. I like the bomb. Who was doing that? Chelsea? That's right, she was doing the bomb, right? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, that's me, the bomb. I like that. Where was the bomb? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, been, I'm serious. I've been so brain dead. I'm. I've been working so hard on the gallery. My my brain is just not functioning all that well lately, because I'm exhausted. Like. Yes, but you've got the plumbing done. I did. I'm a plumber. I'm an electrician. You're got roofer. the rain gutters in. Oh yeah, yeah. We are so close. We're so close on the exterior. No, well, the inside's going to be easy. I know I did all the plumbing. I got all. I was trying to finish installing a shower today. But yeah, five o'clock this morning, I, I woke up and I, I was still going with the idea of that grasshopper with the oil rigs on its back. And this, but I just, I didn't like it. I, and five o'clock this morning, I was on my head and I just couldn't couldn't get rid of it so I just got out of bed and decided to figure this out I like this better I've already done the uh, um, oil rigs on the back I'm gonna do it again somewhere but I'm not saying I can't do it again it just wasn't right for this well someone said something someone commented on my Facebook post. It was pretty funny when they say, pumping in, pumping out that soy sauce. Oh, I didn't even. And then know, that's I when I asked you, did they make, did they make soy sauce? Oh, I thought you were Googling. No, someone said that on my post. Oh. And what did you find out? You I found out there is a certain sauce, like a soy sauce that they make with grasshoppers. And then also the grasshoppers kind of attack the, <clears throat> excuse me the soy fields and then you know ultimately they probably end up in the soy sauce oh. or the bags of soy the eggs <clears throat> so i'm just feeling in my um thorns black thorns that's what i'm calling them wonder what they are called they definitely have those like spikes or whatever yeah that's I guess what like they stick legs. to you yeah <laughs> you know, I have those. It's like Velcro. It is like Velcro. I have the, you know, that box that I have in the gallery of all those dead things that I pulled out of the gallery. Mm -hmm. There's those uh, carpenter bees in there. And dead I was, ones? 
Yeah, because they, I was just, they, well, I felt bad for, like, they oh. were the ones that got caught in the gallery once we closed off all the walls. You might be a, but, a psychopath, sociopath. I, no, because it's about, You just like, collect all these dead things. You know, I was trying to show Michael, I was trying to show our friend this carpenter bee, and it was, and I have this glass frame that has carpeted background. It's like a display case thing. Called the shadow the box. The shadow box with the display. Yeah. But I couldn't pull it off because it was, its feet were stuck to the. Oh, um, yeah, it is like Velcro. Yeah, it is. It's totally like Velcro. This is the least amount of um, direction and information that I've ever done. I know. I hope people are doing fine. Well, I think that I feel like that's probably how it's always been. I just... You just fill gaps. Yeah. And before, I wasn't sure. Now, most everybody that's kind of still sticking around doing the drink and draws are what I'm going to call my friends. <laughs> no, but people have been around a, a while. and. Pretty much yep, know where we're Oh, I think since you opened that door, it just got hotter. Oh, you can close it. Yeah, it's pretty hot. It is moving in the air. May 27. Is there anything anyone's working, anyone's uh any part of their drawing that they're working on that they're struggling with or or want or not want maybe need a little guidance, guidance or something some help okay people are going for it i was just looking at that balloon feeling like it was sad it was a little sad and I don't know. It made me sad. <laughs> no, it didn't. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it really didn't. But I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna try to give this the ring that this is attached to some life here. Can you believe we're going back to Salt Lake next week? No. That's crazy. Yeah, I was considering like <clears throat> not doing a drink and draw in July. But if you guys are all still gonna keep drawing, I'll do them. I, I enjoy it. I just wasn't I just didn't wanna you're know. not putting them out. I by just didn't want to drag it, it out. You know. Well, people will join if they want to, and if not, then that's okay too. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'll put together a, some kind of schedule for July and figure out what I want to draw. Do you want suggestions or just that? Take, uh, I don't like doing away. the suggestion thing. Oh. Just, I don't know. Oh. I'm not against it. I just, it sort of starts pulling, it then it starts pulling away from me and then I feel like I'm not. Yeah, but you know, when back when we went to art fairs, people sometimes would be like, oh, you know, and then, then you would type it in your phone and then you would go back to it and go like, oh yeah, that sounds cool to draw. Yeah, but... But you don't want to do that right I don't now. Want to do that. All right. I have a lot of things I still want to draw. Birthday boy choice. That's true. His birthday's all year, so. Hi -yo. <laughs> Is it? I don't feel like that. Every day is your birthday. Every day you're getting a package from Amazon or somewhere.
Yeah, I don't know what I want to draw next. I haven't even finished my grasshopper drawing. Well, when you pulled out that fox bear, I thought fox are really cute. It has been a while since I've drawn a fox, but there's, uh, but, and they are cute, but really all there is to a fox is their orangeness. <laughs> as, as far as a, a pen drawing, it's I not, it's feel not like all that they fun. would really disagree with you about. I'm telling you, I've drawn three fox. I'm saying, I'm and saying. I've never loved it. The fox would disagree. No, 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 no. I just mean as far as drawing it. Okay. What you can do with it. There's no, it's all fur. Right. Well, you'll think of something. I will. I really was thinking of a horse. Well, the last horse you did wasn't so bad. No, I don't think I'm bad at horses. I just think they're hard. No, you're not bad at drawing anything. You just complain about horses when you draw them. I do. Because they're hard. And I'm afraid of them. <laughs> they are hard, and I'm afraid of them, too. Yeah. <laughs> I have been... <clears throat> yeah, I... When I was... Uh... My elementary school, there was uh, these people on the property, there was a, they had horses. And um, I must have been maybe in third grade or fourth grade, and I was just showing off. Because the horses were right up against the elementary school, yeah, right? That, that, yeah, so the, the, our playground, the, the fence line was right there, the, the people's property, and there was horse, they had horses there, right on the fence line of our playground. And I was... <laughs> was showing off and I climbed over the fence and climbed up on a <laughs> climbed up on one of the horses and he bucked me off onto the fence and I didn't get impaled but I came damn close and I don't know that was pretty traumatic to me at that age so I don't know if that's where my fear of him come from but every horse I've ever been on ever since has always tried to throw me what are you doing are you making little lines on those ropes Oh yeah, I'm making little lines to make it look like they're ropes. But what's wrong with that? No, I'm not trying to see. I think. Probably they do, but I was just zoned out. Yeah, I'm just giving those ropes a little bit more definition. Well, and it's funny because when I made us go horseback riding, that was the only like, time I wasn't afraid, though. Your horse was like, oh, okay, you're in charge. And my horse was like, oh, wait, this girl? <laughs> We're going to go in our own direction. That was a totally different experience because I could see that my son was terrified of the horse. And so I, everything changed and I was taking control. That was the only time that I wasn't afraid on a horse. I was only afraid for my son. <laughs> right. And then I, I was the one who was scared. When I've never been afraid of horses. And then I was like, what have I done? I booked us on a horse. That was in, um. Thing. That was in the, uh, Ozarks, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. That stinking horse of mine. You remember? Yeah. That lady. She jumped off her horse. So, just FYI, I... I'm not really good at like killing bugs or being any kind of mean to animals or strict with them. And she jumped off her horse, our guide, and just got this branch. She, she pulled out her pocket knife and got this branch off a tree and took off all the leaves and was like, okay, you're going to have to whip your horse. <laughs> I was like, what? I can't whip my horse. She's, my horse was really like just going in its own direction. And I was just like, oh, we're free. It's pretty funny, but horrible. Yeah, so you were like brushing the horse with that stick. It was like, get it together, horse, or I'm going to have to whip you, and I can't whip you. All of them. <laughs> Make sure to work on that body. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. 
I zoned out there a minute. I'm trying to make that balloon work. I'm going to end up doing the the red lines, but <clears throat> I think. Oh, that body. Okay. It's, yeah, this, doing a rush job on the larger drawings is, is, is interesting. Do you feel like that's what it is? Because it doesn't seem like you're rushing. I'm not rushing. I just, my lines have to be white, wider. Yeah. Because it's a lot of space to. Well, you can see it's significantly better than last, yeah, yeah, I agree. last time. I and agree. really, it gives other people time to really see what you're doing when they give them time to look up from their paper and watch and see. I agree. I got a bow out early. I got a 12 hour shift tomorrow. Ew. Yeah. So I'm well, going to go to bed. Okay, well, we're recording, so oh, yeah. we can send you the rest. Excellent. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Have, Have a good, good day at work. Yeah, all oh. by myself. It's fine. <laughs> oh, shit. That sucks. I feel for you. That is the one, that is the difference though on a Thursday. On a Thursday. Thursdays, yeah. Well, and then there are people who work on Saturdays and Fridays. I know. But that's true. I I have a feeling though that most people are I not like the just sitting at yeah. home on Friday and Saturday in this warm weather. Or or if they are, then they're I imagine enjoying their backyard or Relaxing? I don't know. Yeah, shoot. I keep feeling like I wanted, to, I, like I should give instruction, but everyone was good. Yeah, everyone seems to be doing well. It's just fun to be here. It's just fun to be drawing with people, hanging out and knowing people are there. I know, I'm trying to remember where some of these people are from. Iowa? Yeah, we've got a Des Moines area, we've got Chicago. Erie, PA. I'm sorry? That's Erie, right. PA. Yeah. Hey, do you know that that don't you, you guys have like a real big like uh, I remember a long time ago we were considering just going to do this that festival in the area. I don't remember what it's called, but it's probably a huge like festival, not an art festival, but kind of just like a festival. It's like, well, never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I, but I just remembered that. We were considering doing it, and then we found out good thing we Trenton did. Trenton is from Hannibal. No. Are you really? Ben, Ben's in, you're in Ohio, right, Ben? Milford. I didn't realize you were from Milford. I, oh, would, I was just talking, saying, did they cancel? Or we forgot to apply, was what happened. But I... I, I don't know. Are they going to end up doing that? No they did show? cancel. They did cancel it? Do you know you guys have a business partner in Milford? Um, uh, what's that, Peter? Tony Hawk's business partner. Oh, yeah. Lives there. <laughs> Madison. Yeah, she says, yeah. I, I forget Dana. his name. He's a good dude. Yeah, he's really nice he, guy. He, I, he's the one that gave my... my uh, help her out the piece to Tony Hawk. St. Louis. You're just down the road. Are restaurants open in St. Louis? I guess they are, huh? Everything's open in Missouri, huh? Well, I don't know. I, don't I know think what, I don't the know governor pronounced like. it open. 
I'd love to go get one of those. Trenton, are there. you messing with me? Because I really don't feel like you're from Hannibal. I'm going to have to Facebook stalk you and find out. <laughs> Manhattan. How is Manhattan? You guys are still on heavy lockdown. I think. I could be wrong. Really from Hannibal? Have we ever even met you? That is crazy. Because you've been on here several times, I think. Well, then maybe you've seen the progress on the gallery. Restaurants are starting to open and sidewalks. You guys, we're making a grasshopper. I should have went with the longer wings. Well, yeah, they're supposed to cover that whole body, I think. No, there are. I mean, I was when I first did an outline of it, I did nice long wings. I was like, I just don't like those. And I started looking up pictures of grasshoppers and saw a bunch with just little mini wings. Okay. So, I know Trenton's legit because he saw your work in Java Jive. There you go. Well, nice to know you. Kind of. Yeah, they do. They cover that whole oh. backside. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they those grasshoppers have been everywhere. Molly came in and she was like, I didn't know grasshoppers can fly. <laughs> like everywhere. All over our yard. How's everybody how was everybody doing over there? Everyone all right? Yeah. 15 minutes before it's time to finish. Well, I don't really have anything else that I was going to. Well, I'm going to put a bunch of Chinese lanterns well, in. Well, you got to do hour. that. Let oh, I didn't see what the last message was. Oh, zoom in. Oh, yeah. On the body part. There you go. Yeah, do you want to see what I'm going to end up doing with these? I don't, want yes. to, I don't want it to be so. completely obvious skulls, but. Well, do you think you should finish shading his body before you work on the skulls? Oh, okay. So that wh whoever has to go can. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, most of this is just going to get filled in nice and dark, uh, but I want these ropes to. Definitely show up, so I gotta make sure I outline those. Just thickening out the ropes here. And just leaking. It's kind of fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, That's you're so right. Funny. So he, should I tell him what? what your mom did yesterday? Your mom and your auntie? I, oh, sure. So there's a house next door to us that um, our neighbor has been trying to sell us and our other neighbors. Oh, it's massive and it's beautiful too. But before before he bought it it went to bankruptcy and when the bank got a hold of it there was this whole giant pool system set up in the upstairs so that when the roof leaked it would go into it collected into a pool and exited out a window like a but the bank was like okay get everything out of here so they got rid of the pool and so when it rained and that, it just demolished one side of the building. And so it's all torn up. Anyway, there's this house that 
the side that's facing ours has been vac vacant, but the other side has been rented, and he's been trying to sell it to us, and we don't want it. So Ty listed it on his Facebook to tell all of his friends and family, like, hey, this is this big gigant home is going to go for, like, how much? 45000 45000 It's huge. probably about a 7,500 square foot house. It's huge. And so then his mom and his aunt, who is in Samoa, which is in the Pacific Islands, got together and they're like, we're going to buy it. <laughs> so, yes, it is quiet without his mom here, but she may very well be like, here, here, <laughs> in the room next time. Yeah, they bought the house next door. It's a cool house, though. It's just cool because then, it, you know, it'll... It won't get torn down. It won't. I don't know. The, their when the it's so giant. It just oversees our whole backyard and looks right into our windows. So I'm kind of glad that nobody will be. No strangers will be looking into our windows. But yes, she. She's very. Uh, well, my mom vocal. wants to socialize. <laughs> I think all of our moms have got, well, yeah, we're down to two now, but they've gotten down to an age where they just want to chit chat. Well, yeah, and both their husbands have passed away, so they have no one to sh share long, lifelong stories with, I guess. I don't I guess, know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to tell me. I'll have to watch for your reactions in 20, 30 years. See if you zone out because I'm droning on too long. Well, I'm glad you gave me 30 more years. Well, the rate you're going, you're gonna only last five. What? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That means you need to take a day off once in know, a while. Jeez, I'll sleep when I'm dead. No, I don't think you'll be sleeping. You'll just be rotting. Know, work, work, work is to be done. Shoot, you guys, I feel I this. Well, oh, we still got time. I hate what I did here. I, I totally messed it up. Well, I'm gonna fix it. You will. But I really do hate it. I, I was. I had this idea of what it looked like, and then I just couldn't implement it. <laughs> we'll just shade in every other. That's okay. I'll fix it. Not that you need my advice. I always take your advice. I know. I, we just think differently. I know. I'm just thinking about my shower example this morning trying to figure out which way a shower door should open okay so here's what i'm gonna here's how i'm gonna try to fix these i'm gonna shade it to make it look like it it uh cups down into there i think that that might work this is what i love about drawing with pen what are you gonna do? Yeah, you you just have to go for it. You know what's pretty great? Mm -mm. My hand has not been numb this whole time, but I hate that I say that because the only reason I brought it up is <laughs> it's yeah. starting to go numb. Oh, well. <laughs> but I think that compression band when working and that might be your fear. That CBD. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to make this work a little bit. So down in these where it kind of curves down in, that's where it's going to be dark shading. And then on the outside of it, it shades even some more. Almost like it's, I don't know. <laughs> I think that that'll make it work. Oh, 
oh, you know what I, you know what, you know what it's looking at me, and maybe that's why I hate it. And I, I, I love the look of them, but I can never draw them. And I think it's only because I don't have the patience for it. But leaves, I cannot draw. I mean, I, I'll, I mean, I can, but I struggle with drawing leaves. I have my whole life. And that's looking like a giant leaf to me. And I think that that's what's made oh, me nuts. Well. Saucer. Those <laughs> <laughs> stupid words. <laughs> I couldn't, I, that whole pupil thing, I can't believe how bad that was driving me nuts. Oh man. <laughs> that didn't it do what I like wanted it to do. It just looks like you're looking in his leg now. I know. Uh, That's okay. You can look in his leg. If no, you want. I don't. It does. It looks like it's, it looks like an incision, like you took a, well, maybe I like that. You know what? Fuck it. Flip it. Sorry. <laughs> I think we don't have children okay. this time. I know, but I don't. Well, I don't I, know. You know Some I, have people truck, are I really do have a trucker's mouth, but I'm, I'm really good about, I'm really good about, you know, keeping it contained. But in now, certain situations, you are. Now I feel like that that's what that looks like, so I'm just gonna roll with it. It looks like, like it was a tight, and then you just took like a, like a scalpel, a scalpel, and just sliced it, and it just <laughs> opened up. So, there you go. I guess I'll just go with that. I'd rather that than it look like a, a leaf. <laughs> That's another, I'm not going to get caught up on stupid words, but that word leaf. No, I like the word leaf. Really? And I actually really like the name leaf. Well, I do like the name leaf. We, uh, Eric's name's leaf. Well, but leaf's like name is Leaf Erickson. Oh, that's right. no, I know, but that who I did the cryptic collab with, he's named after him. The Viking. <clears throat> um, yeah, I get. I always think of Back to the Future with Leaf. Why? I, I already I referenced it earlier today when I said make like a tree oh. and get out of here. <laughs> You got me thinking about Vikings. Oh, maybe we could. Oh, you know what I was thinking? Maybe we could draw for another drink and draw. Just go full on, like, pop, like, something. Like a pop, like David pop Bowie. Culture. Like, something. Like, maybe we could draw a. Uh... Oh, you could do, like, a labyrinth or something. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't like want to a character. Do labyrinth, but yeah. You know what I've been wanting to draw? I'm, I haven't drawn in a long time. Some sort of Muppet. Maybe the drummer. Animal? I don't know. I do love animals. <laughs> no one knows who the Muppets are anymore. It's sad. No, they do. Yes, they do. They just came out with a movie like three years ago. No and way. I think they have... Are you kidding? It won like a... Grammy. No, he won an Oscar, and you know who it was? It was Jermaine. I know. Jermaine won the Oscar for it. I know. Not Jermaine. I, I it, think, was, it was Brett. I think they um, Brit. <laughs> have a new Muppets TV show out for kids. Oh, man, I'm all, what do we got, six minutes? I feel like I've almost got this thing sort of to. Oh, see, somebody said Ludo. Oh, oh yeah, the two old guys who complained from but the I, That's who I would like to draw, because those guys were my favorite. Up they're in the, the critics, I think. Yeah. No, they're, they're, it's just the two old men up in the, up in the balcony seats. And Heather, Josh's tie, whatever, his mom says, sorry, I had to work. I screenshotted your. My mom? <laughs> yeah. I screenshotted her comment. Oh, well, my mom probably loved that. I know. That's why she's she's apologizing to Heather. She's like, I'm so sorry. I can't be there. I have to work. Busy buying the house next door. Busy <laughs> trying to make money to buy that house next door. Let's see. 
81. Well, no wonder I wasn't a fan of the Muppets. Oh, I love the Muppets show. My favorite, my favorite one was Pigs in Space. I've already drawn that, but I love Pigs in Space. And then I love the two old men. I don't even remember their names, but they were, I love them. But yeah, I've already drawn Pigs in Space. I've already drawn Grover. That would be fun to do a pop culture. I would like to draw Bert and Ernie because I do. I, I do like those two. We did Mario for. How about, how about, how about Animal? I, I've yeah. drawn Animal already. I love Animal. He was one of my but favorites. You could draw him again to this. I could. I could. But I think that would be fun to do like a. Maybe we can do a couple because they're pretty easy to draw. Statler and. But they're Waldorf. fun to do in like you know in our style. What were you saying? Um, Scott said their names are Statler and Waldorf. Statler and what? Waldorf. 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 Oh wow. Unless I'm saying them wrong, Statler. Mm. They're funny. Oh yeah. Well, this says one was Waldorf. There we go. Yeah, guess that's what we'll do. We'll do some sort of Muppets themed. I my also really loved the giant. I can't remember who what his name was, but he was I, I, a human played him, but the giant, like the big giant furry character. It wasn't really a Muppet. I mean, it wasn't. Elf. What was it? Elf. No, he was part of the Muppets, but like a human actually was it was like a full costume. It was a big brown, big brown character. Well, really hairy. Labyrinth? Huh? No, no, no. Not from Labyrinth. Hmm. He had a big nose, and I think he had a club that he hit people with. Yes, oh. yes, that dude. He had a big club. Yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> Sweetum. Uh -oh. What was his name? I think Sweetum. Adrian says, oh boy. Snuffleupagus? No, but I love Snuffleupagus too. Oh, Snuffleupagus! That's from, yeah, that's from <laughs> that, that's Sesame Street. Snufflefugus. Snufflefugus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's big bird. Snuffleupagus. I did like Snuffleupagus. Hey, can you? About what were you saying? Snuff, snuffle. Snufflefugus. <laughs> <laughs> It's like that game those kids play when they have all the different words in the same. Um, uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, I like Snuffle Up with this. I love Ludo. That's, you know, I mean, that's Labyrinth, but same. I mean, yeah. Jim Henson and Frank Oz would. Has anyone been to the, uh, the tiny little Jim Henson Museum in his, his hometown? In Mississippi. In Mississippi. In, uh, I doubt it, really. Yeah, what's that, what was that, what's that town? It's just outside Clarksdale. And it's actually pretty close to uh, the B.B. King Museum. In, oh, that museum was awesome, too. Mm -hmm. That's got that whole civil rights museum oh. portion of it too. And that what is that town called that BB King's from? Indian Indianapolis? In Indianola. Indianola. Well, what was Jim Henson's town? Where's that little It was They have the original just, little It was kind of, it was actually more oh, by where Elvis was from. Oh Sweetums. Yeah, I think that's who he's talking Sweetums? about. Yeah, Sweetums, yeah. Love that dude. <laughs> M write that down. Here. I think that's what I'm going to, I think that's, I, I don't know if you can see next drink and draw. my box, but there he is. <laughs> okay, I'll just text it to you. Yeah. You can't do that. Sorry. I just canceled the. Oh, uh -oh. I didn't. Did it? I didn't mean to airdrop it. I'm just kidding. No, we're, we're good. What are you doing? It went to that. It's 9 p.m. Let's look at everyone's drawing. All right. uh, I'm obviously going to stick around and draw you longer need to for anyone that wants probably to. Probably show these guys how to finish that little butt on that grasshopper. All butt. right. Here we go. Are you looking, Josh? No, you just told me to do two different things. I know, but 
Oh, oh yes. love that white. I know. I love your work on gray paper. It's fantastic. Yes. Yeah, we're all in the same. We're all in the same. Uh... Yeah, I love the little hearts. That's sweet. Sweetums. <laughs> Yes. Are grasshoppers and locusts the same thing? I was just asking that. I know. Now, yeah, I'm, now I'm, when I'm looking at these guys' drawings, I think, oh, they have a very locust vibe. I think they're basically the same thing. Awesome. They've got to be like cousins, if not. Cool. Supposedly, yes. we were supposed to have all sorts of cicadas, but I haven't heard one. Isn't it the 12 year cicada the this year? 17. Or 17 year? Supposedly. They were like, it's 20. Oh, yeah, right in the skate. <laughs> the cicadas awesome. were. Awesome. And now we heard. Is that all of them? Yeah. Well, guys, that was two hours. I'm obviously going to stick around and draw longer. If anyone wants to stick around and draw, keep drawing. Um, You're not in. I'm not. Uh, I don't think you're in on the monitor, unless it went to the end. Oh, sorry. Let me no. spotlight you. Oh. oh, did you want to show? Yeah, let's see. No, oh, way. she just. I'm right there. Put it down. Time monitor. Now she's got it up. Oh, now you got it. Sorry, we're playing tag. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah, so see, Christian, like you ready to show? He showed already. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I know that because I look because I, I I'm like the ghost face killer piece. <laughs> All right, are you are you talking? Yeah, or I'm you gonna going? just give an official thank you for people who have to leave. Do you want to show them how to do that? Bottom. No, I know what to do. All right. So thank you, and uh, I'll I'll put the, I'll put together a schedule for July. Um, we're gonna take a break from building the gallery and go back to our, my, my place in Salt Lake City and see how crazy it is over there. Uh, thanks again. Uh, you guys are awesome. And uh, if you wanna stick around and draw, I will. Uh, also, if you, if you wouldn't mind, if you post your drawing, um, let me go to the drawing. When you do your drink hashtag, when you go to the drawing agent, spot oh, drawing. Oh, I didn't know you were When talking. you hashtag the drink and draw with Ty, if you wouldn't mind doing at Johnny Richie, R I C H E. I. Yes, at Johnny Richie on Facebook, and I, I I think it's Rockwell Johnny on the Instagram. But if you do it on Facebook, John, at Johnny Richie. And just tell them it's a gift from me. <laughs> you don't even say anything. It'll yeah, just you don't have to say anything. Feed. Yeah, if you don't mind, when you post your picture, just do it at John and Richie. Hey. I, I just think it would be. And how do they get know. access to this third hour when they leave? So I said it last time I was going to email you, and I just forgot. I have all your emails, everyone that signed up. I can, I, I, it's my intention to email it to you. But sometimes I just get so busy I forget. But I, I will make note first thing in the morning. I will uh, send a link to the this entire video. So that if you wanted to continue on, if you do have to leave. Okay. Um, anything else? Does anyone have any questions? Before uh, we just officially close out, uh, I guess, uh, of course, I'm going to stick around and draw some more. So you're welcome to stick around and draw. Any questions, anybody? I am going to take a break and grab, grab another beer. And uh, thanks, you guys. This has been fun. Now, now we'll uh, add in some more crazy stuff. Do you want me to get you a beer? No, I got to use the restroom anyway. Oh, okay. But, uh, okay, cool. Beth, I want to, I, if anyone has ideas on the, um, so I want to add, I want to do something more do you decorative. Want me to spotlight you? No, no, I'm looking at the drawing. 
Oh. I want to do some more decorative stuff. Like I, what are, I, I don't want to call them dingleberries, but what are they called? <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? You know, like uh, like the like beads. Not beads. You know, like back, like in the old school, like in a low, like like a Mexican will have in the low rider, like fringe tassels. Not, tassels, yes. Tassels. I want to do like something like that, like tassel something i don't know i just see it happening in in these but i can't like this is going to be the moment where if someone has if someone's willing to share see i just i feel like they kind of look like that you can actually what you the thing on your graduation cap well i know of. but i but i i i want if someone has some kind of cool idea for that and wants to share it I'll use your, I, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I want to use it. Because I feel like something should be there. I need the restroom. Okay. Two really quick, I'm feeling quite chatty. I have two quick things that I was going to say. What you saying? One, I've been wanting to say water closet forever, but I always forget. Well, just go to Java Jive. They have one right there. I, I said it's like, I got to use the restroom. I've just, I've, I, for years, I wanted to say water closet, and I try to make mental note and use water closet, but I, I never do. Mm -hmm. The other one, the other comment that I was thinking of, when we're doing, so I have to check myself like what we're, t what we're discussing because I know we're recording these and then yeah. you know, they can watch. So that's a difficult thing to do. And it just remind, reminded me of about maybe nine years ago. Well, how old were the kids? I don't know. What we, had been, we had been approached about doing a, um, a TV, uh, what do you call it? Like a, 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 reality, a reality show, show on our family, our um, <laughs> traveling, you know, traveling artists with, these, with, you know, with my wife and, and, and young two kids. Ki young young kids. kids. And uh, we had made a little uh, a teaser. Uh, sizzle reel. Sizzle reel. A little scissor reel was made and we met with some people anyway it was it was like gonna be a real thing that was gonna happen and uh um, yeah i was just thinking like it i'm so glad it didn't because you were pushing for it i, I was, was pushing not. for it because yeah i, mean, I was not it was a pretty 
it would have been, you know, a nice, a nice, good paycheck. And I thought, I mean, I thought it would be, it, it was a really interesting story and everything, but that was always something that was kind of on our mind that, that like, but things it, that you just say that you just. Right. But it is interesting, like the places that we would see and go and the storm, the things you don't think about when you're constantly traveling. I just thought it would have been cool for the kids to see, but then maybe not. Maybe no, they, they would have hated all us. Kinds of crazy <laughs> well, they saw all, all the stuff anyway. Oh, I know, but just to remember. But anyway, yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking of that. Turns out little kids are more exciting than teenagers. Now they don't <laughs> want to go anywhere. We used to go to like the BB King Museum and the Everywhere. Muppet. <laughs> What is that guy's name? The Muppet guy? Jim Henson. Jim Henson. All those fun things. Now they're just like, Ugh, can we just get where we're going? <laughs> Give me some Wi-Fi. Well, I tell this story about it. I just want to tell it again. We, when we went to Europe, we, we rented a car. We I had a gallery showing in Denmark and the gallery owner flew us out there and gave us a car and everything. So we decided we'll just We'll just stay there for six weeks. And we had no plans, so we just drove a car from Denmark down to Italy along the banks of uh, Germany. On, so on the west side, on West Germany, drove all the way down to Italy and then back up on East Germany. Mm. Or is it vice versa? No, I'm just the bank. You mean borders? I didn't mean banks, border. <laughs> uh, but I, I wanted to see every single castle while we were there because it was my first time ever going. This was four, four, four or five years ago, or maybe longer. But like after the first two castles, like <laughs> my kids were sick of it. <laughs> and I was thinking, I was, I was like, I guess I was 40. And I was like, I haven't seen a cat. I've never been in a castle for four, I'm 40 years old. I've never seen a castle. And you're already sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I don't know. Then they wanted to go back and then see the castles, and they wish they had appreciated them then. So. I know. It, it, they just so used it's, to traveling so much. And yeah, they're a little bit travel spoiled. Castles are awesome. <laughs> castles are awesome, especially when half of what you just see is cornfields and soy fields, <laughs> and then all of a yeah. sudden you're like, wait, I'm talking about here versus yeah. there driving over there you're like what is that yeah, everything. Yeah. Let's, go, let's just go see let's go check out that castle out in the middle of nowhere best time to travel to europe for me you know, was in the winter and there's mm -hmm. nobody there it was great we'd go into a castle and they, there would maybe be three other people <laughs> yeah the dead of winter it's a wonderful time to travel <laughs> If you don't like other yeah. people around. Yeah, I was going to say, some people are like that. We're, we're not, that's not our. I ended up just putting a bunch of X's in there, in like a little light X's in his wing, and I feel like that worked. Yeah, we were the only ones at the Eiffel Tower, too. Yeah, we really were. Well, we weren't the only ones in Paris, I can tell you that. <laughs> well. That was a nightmare. We, I, I, I had a different view of what uh, Moulin Rouge was going to be. <laughs> oh, my God. I was you guys are like, poor kids. <laughs> I was thinking, like, oh, it would be cool to go check out Moulin Rouge. Like, it's probably, like, this cool, like. <laughs> we're walking, we're walk, we walked maybe, I think that day we walked something like 24 miles. We walked from Notre, uh, Notre Dame up to Moulin Rouge, which itself, I think, was like a 10-mile walk. And my kids were so pissed. And then I was thinking, it's cool. We'll get to Moulin Rouge. It's awesome. And it's totally the red light district. And it was a It was nothing but <laughs> S&M shops. Like, we're like, and, oh, OK, there's the windmill. Let's turn around. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't back. even like a great wind. Like, it was just It was uh, just like a, a you know, a uh, what, what is the street in New Orleans. Why am I blanking out? Uh, 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 <laughs> Nobody can think of that right now. Uh, bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. And the one in Memphis. 
Yeah. They're kind of old. Beale it's Street. Beale Street. Yeah, they're very, well, maybe some people love that stuff. That's no, they're, they're, they're great. They're fun, but it's not just really not right. really fun for Especially with the kids. when you have kids. It's not really fun to take kids there <laughs> on those specific streets. Although, <laughs> anywhere we go, like it stinks or something like, oh, well, it smells like New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like vomit and. Well, at least they were able to. Piss. At least they were able to use that. I can I actually know. know that smell. True. In Amsterdam, they were like, what does that smell? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, well, you'll know one day, I'm sure. That smells like, well, we, we have someone, yeah. <laughs> we have someone specific that smells like Amsterdam. There's a family member. Yeah, and they were like, this smells like this person's yeah, house. Yeah, and our kids like, oh. like, when we first got to Amsterdam, they're like, what smells like their house? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> well those skeletons will be revealed in time yeah that was funny did anybody figure out what what to do to, for those for the abdomen no for the decorative on the mm -mm. okay i'll just i'm just gonna put little tassels at the end so i just i'm just gonna do like a like three circles and then one that's kind of frayed. I'll, I'll do a close-up in case anyone's wondering what I'm So I'm just doing a circle, a circle, a circle, and then and then that. I feel like that's gonna do something. I do miss Europe. I know. I was just scrolling through his comments. I really miss everywhere. Like Milford, Madison, Manhattan. There's not a place I don't miss right now. You know what I think about Aside quite from, a bit is um, the Olympic like, National like, Park. Oh, yeah. If anyone. That was, that was one of our. It like, seems like everybody here is Midwest and East. If you ever get the opportunity to go West, Olympic National Park in Washington State is yeah, amazing. That's a you could you could stay months there. Yeah, nobody would know you were there, and the the forest is so dense. Oh, you're, the you're, the sound doesn't even travel. It's yeah. almost creepy. The silence. It's so fantastic. That's a trip. Yeah, that's a United States trip. Like anyone asks, like, where would you go in the United States? That's one I'm like. Olympic National Park. Spend a month there. I think they, didn't they film, maybe I'm way off on this, but didn't they film um, Harry and the Hendersons up there? Yeah. <laughs> we draw Harry. Ha Harry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's basically the same as Sweetums. Sweetums. No, we're drawing Sweetums. I love Sweetums. He made, like, he's so jolly and like he made me just, just, even just when I think of him, he just makes me smile. Yeah, I think he's a good character. He reminds me of that uh, Looney Tunes monster, the big red monster with the tennis shoes. Wait, so, was that, that a... On Looney yeah. Tunes? Yeah! I'm trying to picture who that is. He was in a lot of Bugs Bunny. Well, not a lot, but a, a few Bugs Bunnies. I don't think he had arms. I think he was just like a big, a big squarish <laughs> red know. fuzzy well, guy with feet. Can you look that up there? I want to see. Red. Now I, you know what? I have something I've always wanted. I've always wanted to draw. Bugs Bunny. Maybe oh yeah. I'll do that you one day. Yeah, he's like a molar with the red. Oh fuzzy yeah, fuzzy. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he can. Yeah, that's him. He's like a molar. He's <laughs> like a, for a dentist cartoon or like a dentist. <laughs> Worst nightmare: the red molar with fuzz fur. Yes, Adrian's been to Olympics. Oh, it's so great. 
How I think we only were there for like two two weeks, maybe. Well, no we were up just... in Washington for two weeks because we had two shows. Oh, that's right. So it was in between. It was. A it week. was we spent a week in there. Yeah. Oh man, it was lots of hiking. Our kids loved it. <laughs> No, they didn't mind it, no, actually. Didn't. That was one of the ones. They didn't mind that. That was so beautiful. I think there was only two hikes in our lives. They didn't mind that one and the one in the Czech Republic. Which one? Do you remember we hiked to some ruins? Like a, ru oh, a castle? Oh, yeah, that was cool. A ruined castle? Yeah, yeah. Those, every other hike they've complained about. That, was that in the Czech? Yeah, that, or was it in Poland? No, one in the Czech. That wasn't the guy's shop, the guy who had the shop down below who yeah. stayed in his. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think Olympic and that were probably the best. Yeah, I think of Olympic National Park quite a bit. You just think something's going to pop out, too. It's just otherworldly. It's so dense. You wouldn't hear, you wouldn't really hear a bear. Well, I'm trying like to think part. if there's anything <laughs> else that would live up in there. I mean, it's Sasquatch. A, and it, Harry. It's a dogman. Dogman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got travel withdrawals. We should be everywhere right now. No. We, I mean, I, 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 I get withdrawals from uh, Michigan. I know. I love Michigan. Even just like oh, going um, to a brewery out there. In Minnesota. I love Minneapolis. Yeah. I do miss mm. not being in places. I'm going to Sleepy Bear Dune State Park in uh, yeah. 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 Lakeshore, I guess. Yeah. You're, go you're going there, you said? Yeah. For a week uh, in July, I'm going to camp there with a friend it's beautiful yeah, oh good fun. there's a gallery uh they sometimes have his work they probably Island. don't have any yeah, no, she's still got but some right there. there there's a cute little town, Traverse. town called? Traverse Traverse. Oh. Traverse City it's right there okay. it's got a good brewery um with yeah, some yes. yummy ciders if you like ciders and some good food it's a cider, it's not, yeah, it's a cider. I do yeah uh, yeah, and good bookstores and just a cute little town. But yes, Sleepy Bear. Yeah, that's awesome. Sleepy Bear Dan. If you go, they get a lot of rescue calls because people are like, "I can just run down these dunes," <laughs> and then they get stuck. <laughs> and yeah, kind of. We tried to do it with our kids. We kind of experienced <laughs> that firsthand. We didn't need rescue, but boy, it took some effort getting out. <laughs> My wife was like, yeah, we could just go down there. And I was like, oh, you guys, this, this is, I don't know if we're going to make this. <laughs> Similar to me with the horses. I'm like, we got this. Yeah. And Let's go down like, there to the lake. Oh, shit. Never mind. <laughs> it is beautiful up there. When are you going? Heather says it's uh, excellent jeeping. Yeah. First weekend of July. Oh. oh. Or fir first full week. Are you camping? Yep. Oh, awesome. In the state park? Yes. Nice. I remember that big. Remember that that place that the big the, the big farm. Remember? Yeah, uh, there's the barn? A, no. uh, there's a um, an open air market, a farm where you can go buy fruits and veggies and stuff. Yeah. And the the sleepy bear. I mean, you'll probably know or find this out, but there are these three islands, right? Yeah. And they look like the big mom, like mama bear and her two cubs. Uh huh. That's what they. That's why they call it that. Right? Is that right? Something like that. Yeah, I think I think one of them is called like mother or something. I've heard something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is I miss so you. pretty. I know. I miss it all. That's that's our. We usually we have a show usually in Minneapolis, um, the Uptown Arch Art Festival, and then we have the Milford Art Festival um, the week the very next weekend. So what we used to do is we drive we do. We do the up tap the show in Minneapolis and then drive up to the UP to hang out at the UP for a week, which is awesome. Mm. And then come back down to mini uh Milford show, which is awesome. I love Milford too. Yeah. Oh uh, shit. Another Hopefully we can get back down. to real life sometime soon. Yeah. By next year, I guess. I guess by next year, yeah. Next year. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, yeah, this mango elusive had a little more percentage in it than I thought it did. Well, good for you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Have you ever you. been before? Oh uh, yeah, I went last year for the first time. Oh. It was awesome. Did you go to that little Traverse City? No, I think that's uh I went with a friend and she kind of had her own schedule, so we pretty much stayed in the park. Oh schedules. I know. Do they call it Traverse City or Traverse City? Traverse City. Yeah. Oh. Well we traverse mountains in Salt Lake. <laughs> <laughs> And I guess they traverse. Oh, wait, someone cities. just said, so. oh, GB. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dang it. Yeah, Eventually. now we're talking about all these places that we wish we were. Oh, I've been on that kick. I'm grateful, though. I am grateful we're getting the gallery done. Me so. too. I can't wait till you guys, till I can meet you people, like I can see you people in person. Well, we can see Trenton tomorrow, probably. I just, want everyone to come. I just want everyone to, while they're saying, like I want, Ben could be saying, oh yeah, I'm going out to Hannibal uh, this weekend to go check out Ty's gallery and you know, stay at the B&B &B up there. And <laughs> when did yeah. the Steampunk Festival in Hannibal? The Steampunk Festival in Hannibal. We have, we have a Steampunk Festival um, on uh, Lab Memorial Weekend. Cool. It's, it's the largest steampunk festival in the nation and it's only been going on for like four years but I this town that. this town's perfect for like a little steampunk action yeah maybe trenton has gone i we've always had a show that weekend yeah, but... we're always in uh michigan royal oak yeah that's where i would probably see it next if it was if it was going on still at royal oak yeah did they cancel I don't know yet. I haven't heard from them, yeah. but I wasn't plan. I had just not accepted. I planned on. I, I we have a little. Uh, our brewery here in Han in uh, St. Louis, um, Schlafly Brewery has a. Sh it, their show got canceled, so they pushed it to that weekend. Uh, it's just a small little neighborhood show, and so we figured it would be more likely that a small little neighborhood show would be able to go off than that. Art speeds in each show. I just. I don't think they can. Get, I mean that show pulls in like three hundred thousand people on that weekend, and I just don't know how they, how they would actually be able to do that. You know. <laughs> yeah, good bet it'll be canceled then. What's that? It's a good bet it'll be canceled. I yeah. think so, but they haven't sent any emails and let us know if it was canceled or anything. Wow, look at oh. that! I just ran out of ink. Wow. I'm starting to think you you lying about no, running out of ink. In there. For years you tell people, I never I never have run out of ink. Well, this isn't a bit either. You're saying cheap paper made. Mm -hmm. Trenton. Uh wasn't so sure about the steampunk festival the oh, first time. You didn't like it? No, he was only down there for fifteen minutes. So you know, when you go down like, there and you're like, what's going but on? But I feel like if you're in Hannibal, all these fast festivals feel the same. <laughs> it's all the same. Well, yeah. that's like Brittany. She's like, when I'm, we have a friend who works downtown and she's just like, when anything's going on downtown, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> not now that they have a baby. Well, that was before. Okay, there's this line that I will never forget from... Uh, you just from, it. Huh? No, from Kung Fu, from the TV mm -hmm. show. Okay. And because he's blind, his teacher. Oh, okay. And uh, he, uh, young grasshopper is asking him, is saying like, "Well, you you don't have eyes. How can you even do anything?" Basically, that's how he's, and he says. Well, he says, do you hear the grasshopper at your feet? <laughs> and? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, that, that I was story, really thinking we yeah, were going that, somewhere. Like tactic, but wow. <laughs> I, I could have told that story better, but I sort of got, I was, got, 
I was trying to write it out. I didn't want to. Is that what that says? I hear the yeah, grasshopper says, at your grasshopper at your feet. Because mm -hmm. he's saying, you know, I can. I, you think I can't do anything, but he did. But young grasshopper didn't even realize that there was a grasshopper at his feet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And you know how I, you know my handwriting, it, I was just very specific. So um, recently I've been doing my E's like uh, Basquiat's mm. as just a tribute to him. Oh, that's lovely. I thought that's what the um, Hanzi, Hanzai, Hanzi said. I didn't realize you had English on there. So he does his E's. So Basquiat did these, the E's with the same old, same old, same old. Yeah. See, I was talking and I didn't want to mess up the writing. Just that's okay. Just let it run out. I was going to put at your feet down here. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Mm -mm. I'm going to start drawing on gray paper so I can Well, you have this. it in Salt Lake, right? I have plenty of both piles of it. I just don't do it oh. for these drink and draws because most people don't have it. But I love the way, I just love once you start putting in them white highlights, it's like it's... All right, I'm going to put in my symbols. I have to look those up. My only kung fu quote is hot head need cool, need cool what? That's the greatest movie of all time. It was the greatest when I was, I was a little girl. No, it's still And I great. was so mad at my brother. So furious with him because he would just terrorize me. Hot head? And cool. then all of a sudden I was just in the corner just fuming and then my brother standing over me with a cup of cold water quoting that and Does dumping, anyone know what that what movie that's from? dumping water over my head hot head need cool water i think he regretted that i love that movie it's from a movie called the last dragon oh oh i've seen that but i don't i haven't seen it enough it is so oh, you great gotta go back and watch it show enough is so fantastic it is such a great movie yeah. I mean, I don't know. I love all the eighties movies, so I think I think people do still though, because they were original. I mean yeah. they they resonate with our kids. My kids, well yeah, but they're you know what? <laughs> well like the first movie they ever saw was Spaceballs and I showed it to them over and over and over and over and over <laughs> again. All right, that I just did that. That's Kung Fu right there. Kung Fu. Hot head need cool water. Shuffle your pizzas to Danny Green's pizzas. Oh. Have they seen that one recently? Yeah. Have they? Yeah. That was good. I also had him watch Summer School over and over again. My son couldn't take it. I love that movie. I don't remember them. That's one of Chainsaw and Dave. That's the one with the drawing. That comes to life? Nope. That is uh, either One Crazy Summer or... Oh, that's it. Yeah. I love that movie, too. One you know, Crazy Summer or... What is, what, what's the other one that Cusack was in? Um, I Want My Two Dollars. Uh, oh, yeah. When the ski movie. Yeah. What the hell is that called? I don't know. Ski School. No. Oh. <laughs> summer School and Ski School? Why, no. why, why did that just slip my head? Um, you know which one I haven't seen? The one with Spicoli ever. Oh, Fast Times Ridge Mount High? I don't think I've ever seen that one. <sighs> My dad's a TV repair repairman. He's got a major set of tools. We can fix it. Yeah, that's a great movie. He was just on Howard. Spicoli. Sean Penn? Mm -hmm. That Fast Times at Ridge Mount High is a pretty fantastic movie. I do say so myself. Okay, now I'm going to do these characters. These, these characters are for uh, the Chinese character for uh, 
grasshopper. Hanzi or Hanzai. Hanzi. Hanzai. I don't know. We still have people here drawing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just you and me. <laughs> well, I know Ben's here. <laughs> I took a break for a while. <laughs> Try opening that door now that it's yeah, dark. It's so hot here. <laughs> I know, I just, yeah, I may need it. To ben, you're in Ohio, right? Sweating. Yeah, just south of Toledo. You guys are pretty hot there right now. Uh, hey Google, what's the temperature? <laughs> the temperature in Perrysburg right now is 72 degrees. Oh yeah. Oh. 72. Not too bad. It's still really <laughs> hot in my room though. It's gonna get real bad next week though. I think. Well, we'll be in Utah and dry. Well, that's my problem. Chapstick heat. Is we're driving through that heat. I don't know if our van, can our van take that yeah, 92 humidity for yeah, it's a diesel engine. 18 hours? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's going to get hot here. Yeah, 100 degree Salt Lake weather. It's dry, but it's hot. Oh, it's, it's nothing like this. I think this is more miserable oh, yeah, than the yeah, hundred in Salt Lake. I love. I'll take the humidity over any of it. I love it. Remember when you when you like when you get off the plane in Samoa? Yeah. And it's like you walk into a wall. Like it's a wall of humidity. Water. Like it's, yeah, it's like a dense I mean, you wall. You just walk into of some hot water. <laughs> With your sweatpants on because you just got off a forty-hour flight. Yeah, the hum you know it's great. The heat and the humidity in the island in Samoa, in the island of Samoa, is ten times worse than any Midwest humidity. I disagree. I oh, think it's basically the same. The temperature just never drops at oh, night. Oh, that's the truth. Maybe that's what it is because it doesn't. The temperature doesn't fluctuate like at nighttime. It just stays. So you never, there's, you never have an opportunity to cool off. Yeah, when I was out there painting those boards today, I thought this is just like Samoa. It is a tropical paradise here in Hannibal without the tropical or the <laughs> or paradise. The paradise. <laughs> <laughs> but it basically feels the same. And wait 20 minutes and you'll probably get a downpour. Just like. Yeah, it does, <laughs> it rains quite a bit in Samoa. Mm. Yeah, I said Samoa. You said Samoa. What did you say? Samoa. I said Samoa. Samoa. But it's Samoa. I saw the greatest meme your cousin posted, and it said, "Yes, I'm from Samoa." And it said, "Samoa, where is that?" And this is like, "Oh, you know, Pacific Islands." Huh? And like a question mark on the other person. You're like, "Uh, Hawaii." Oh yeah, I'm from Hawaii. <laughs> you never mind. <laughs> it's just I'm from Hawaii. It's just easier. Yeah, but you know, still on most of the census stuff, we just get put down as uh, Asian American or Asian American or. Well, when I filled out your census, I didn't know you were Polynesian. Well, now they no, they do Pacific Islander now. But it was usually Asian American, Pacific Islander as the same group. Right. Yeah, but it's so funny because when I that meme totally resonated because people are like, where is he from? Somalia? <laughs> no. And then you just go through the same thing. So the guy, uh, it's like Hawaii. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh -huh. Hawaii. The Rock. Do you know The Rock? It's Hawaii with all the people. Wayne Johnson. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, Dwayne was supposed to be in a movie that I was uh <laughs> Well, he wasn't supposed to be. He passed on it. Well, you had envisioned him, but that was before The Tooth Fairy, right? <laughs> the actual movie, The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> That's what I mean. He passed on our movie to do The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> I was so pissed off at him. Because it was a, sh it was a movie about, um, about, our a heritage, about Samoan, Samoan warrior. Yeah. Toa, Toa, Pacific, Pacific warrior. 
But then he That's got, a movie I'll still make. He got back to his roots. Oh my last God. Movie that, he did. that movie that he did with that. Fast uh, and the Furious. The Fast something. and the Furious one, Hobbs and whatever. Oh, man. People are going to see that and now they're going to know what you are. They're going to no. be like, oh, I yeah, that it. movie, The Rock. I always hate, like, all the movies, like, it's always the it's always the big fat dumb Polynesian like cheerful dumb but dumb like just typecast Polynesian. It's it's sweet, but I, I I've always hated it. Well they call you guys the happy people. We are the happy people though. Did you see on that Facebook post someone had mentioned said something about <clears> how <throat> my post that said was the one of my posts when I was just talking about the well, anyway, it was just a picture of me, and, and the guy said, whoa, Ty, you are scary. <laughs> whoa, really? Maybe that's your No, fear. but it was great, because someone, I think, I can't remember who it was, but someone who's been on the Drink and Draws and, like, hanged out said, Ty is the most not scary person. Oh, that's funny. Well, you are into people. I'm not intimidated by you at all, no, but I know that the, should be. The, the people are intimidated by you. When they, you know, first, I don't know why. I think it's because you don't trim your goatee. No. <laughs> that sounds like you just want me to trim my goatee. <laughs> I don't have the proper tools to do it. To do what? Huh? Shave my goatee. Oh. You saw when I actually shaved all of the chin I would have never asked you like to I'm, shave. Like, I was just like, saying. <laughs> You know, you see like a motorcycle dude, and some people are like, "Ooh, I know. this is like a motorcycle." <laughs> you can talk. What did they think when I used to when I was always when I used to ride motorcycles? What would they? Well, then nobody would mess with you then. But now that you traded that in for a bicycle, <laughs> I traded in my motorcycle for a BMX. <laughs> now I'm gonna get my my bikes going again. Now you're less intimidating. I just spent like 15 minutes working out those, <laughs> that calligraphy on that. And I imagine people can just write it as quickly as I wrote, do you hear the grasshopper? No, I think it looks nice. No, it is. It's just such a hard, I just, I love it. I love the whole look of it. Of the Hansi? Hansi. Hansi. Is what Google said. Yeah, but I think of Hansi from Howard Stern. Well, I've heard him a long time. Hansi just sounds really English. He's been around for a while. His parents told me couldn't call him. I want it to be Hansi. Let's look at people's drawings. Okay. I'm, I, I've still got more to go, but I, I want to just see what everyone else is doing. I feel like we've just been bad. Right. Does anyone want to show us what you're, what you're working on? Let's yeah. check them out. Heather, you, let's you're ready. Yeah, you make me so jealous. Ooh, what does that paper. say? Death has no victory. Has had no victory. Yes. Putting in the work on the grasshopper. Yeah. Awesome. Darren, are you from Minneapolis? Or in, I'm going to think it was somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, uptown area, right yep. by the. Lake. I just shaved and got a haircut since last time. Oh, okay. Love the face shield. Man, I love that mask on there. That's awesome. Yeah, riding the skate. I love it. <laughs> awesome. Oh, the light bulb. I love the light bulb. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Our neighbor. Nice. Our neighbor. <laughs> yeah. Who knew? Yeah, you know, when I was when I was initially sketching out the, the 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 concept for this, I I was doing like just the balloon part, and I thought, oh, that, it's got a cool light bulb look. And then I was afraid that wouldn't work, like for the drink and draw. And then I was like, that is looks like such like a, I'm. I think that should be a skull. And I didn't really think it was like a brilliant thought, but I thought, well, I bet no one's thought of that. So I Googled skull hot air balloon. 
already. Oh my god, like, yeah, I saw like 50 tattoos of like <laughs> a skull hot bet, air balloon. <laughs> I bet they weren't attached to grasshoppers. Well, they weren't attached to grasshoppers, no, but I was just, I thought, I was just thinking, I can't believe no one's thought of that. And then obviously, Every, if you, everybody, yeah. <laughs> but what do you, what is it, if you get a hot air balloon tattoo, are you a hot air balloon enthusiast? Maybe you're or, a hothead. I don't know. <laughs> You know, the, like that, that's a huge like, thing that hot well, it's air like balloon. the ship. And and people yeah, love I guess. I guess. ships and yeah. sailing. And... Well, you know that that, that but I guess that's in, Navy uh, in New Mexico, too. the uh, but, hot air yeah. balloon festival. Mm -hmm. That's like a really, I mean, people from all over the world go to that. I used to want to go up in a hot air balloon. I'll never go up in one. I know. My days of adventure, those kind of adventures are over. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be into doing all kinds of crazy shit. Not well, that's anymore. not that crazy. I mean, I think it's probably relatively safe. I'm sure it probably is, but there's no need for me to do it. I have, I, I have to get into an airplane to travel from here to there, and I don't even want to do that. No. Last time I was in the damn airplane, we was going to crash. <laughs> the when I, yeah. And then I just felt like you were going to, at the funeral, going to be like, I told you not to go. <laughs> That's all I could think about. I was just thinking, like, this plane is definitely is going down. That's not what I would say at your funeral. Oh, I know, but I was, I was thinking, like, this is awful. Like, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have even went. And we were going down, but I couldn't understand. The pilot was speaking in French, and I was just like, and I was looking at the guy I was sitting next to, and he was googling on his phone, and then the the uh, stewardess, she was like. Everyone, put your phones away. And she was like, <laughs> say it in French. And I, and I was just like, I couldn't understand what was going on, but I could sense that the guy sitting next to me was like trying to text his wife or something to say like, I love you <laughs> or something. Wow. Oh man, that was awful. And I've, I've never liked flying in, in general, but yeah, that was it. I didn't, I just saw, I saw someone post something, uh, I mentioned something, hot air balloon or something. What was it? Uh, Trenton just said that there was a hot air balloon incident here about uh, two years ago, made national. Yeah, it always seems like there's an incident. I don't want to get in a hot air balloon. We see hot air balloons in Park City all the time. Yeah, and there's probably incidents. <laughs> probably <laughs> not. You just have to but, watch out for the power lines. Oh yeah. yeah, it would just be the same. It's the same thing with me. I always feel like I'm gonna be the lucky one that <laughs> <laughs> that it goes down. In. Yeah, I know. Well, I I just feel like I have all these great adventures, brilliant ideas, and then <laughs> when it comes down to it, it's like, oh, what have I done? I'm going to kill us yeah, all. We're already all, set in stone. All. Yep. Adrian, the one who killed her whole family with her dumb idea. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but in reality, it's just like things that people do. Yeah, so. just horseback riding. <laughs> oh, we just went on a hike and got a tick. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden. Well, no, we have a really good friend that has, that's like, uh, that has some really bad health issues from Lyme's disease that he got just from ticks when he was a kid. But he's like, well, I guess he's been doing, he's been doing hyper oxygen, what is it, oxygen, chain, oxygen treatments? Yeah. And it's been working for him, but nothing else was working. And he was like sick, sickly sick. He was skinny. No doctors knew what it was. No doctors. Why, is my, why are all my watercolor brushes? I don't know, but I... I I was talking to a neighbor recently and she, I told you the story, but um, we have a town about two-ish hours from here. And you can correct me, I think it's called Kirkland. And this guy, he was a chef, he got oh, yeah. some sort of tick and I had never heard of this, but it made him sick to, 
like when he ate meat, he would get sick. So being a chef and being ultimately just turned off by all the food he was making, he ended up opening a vegan restaurant in this small town in Kirkland. But I had never heard of anybody getting sick from or having like a meat allergy. Yeah, that just, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just stubborn. But yeah, I just thought that was bizarre. I don't know if anybody else has ever heard of people not eating or having some sort of reaction to me because of Lyme's disease or something from a tick. Well, that Lyme's disease is gnarly. I'm Googling it. Tick and meat. Oh, there it goes. It says a bite from a Lone Star tick can cause people to develop an allergy to red meat, including beef and pork. Wow. This tick is found in the southeast from Texas to Iowa and New England. So it's got a wide range. Hmm. Yeah, I had never heard of that. I do miss Texas. Do you? I do, actually, yeah. Which part? Oh. The fields of nothing? Well, no, I just, I mean, the shows, maybe. Oh. Does anyone else use these water brushes? I love these things. Heather has a friend who gets like allergic to me and she isn't sure that she had a tick or not. Yeah, what this is that weird. I mean, it makes sense, right? I guess, yeah, to some degree. If milk disrupts our brain, then why couldn't beef disrupt someone's body? I think beef disrupts everyone's body. No, oh, don't go after people's steaks. They'll come I'm not, with daggers. I'm not. I, I've eaten steak. I know. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't think it's necessarily something that's... I know. Your mom just sent you a whole pack of Slim Jims <laughs> or something for Father's Day. My mom is funny. She <laughs> is. My mom's great. She knows we're pretty much a vegan household. And for Father's Day, I got... A, I got she was like, I know what you really want. <laughs> Slim Jim, a bunch of beef jerky Slim Jims, which at some night, like if, if I'm drinking all night and like I come home, yeah, okay. I might end up yeah, getting yeah. into those. Get in there. But I mean, we're mostly a vegan house. I eat fish, but. And you'll eat meat. I will, yeah. I, I don't have, I just, I don't because I don't every, cook everyone it. else in the household doesn't eat meat, so. I don't mind. Regularly. I, I had heart like, I had heart issue. I had the uh, cholesterol issues, so I it, it's not like it was it's not something that I I mean I get I can easily just not do it. Plus well, I don't know for certain, but it has been so long for me, but they make such good veggie food now. Like this vegan sausages are so good they really are but the... you say that because you but <laughs> yeah real meat <laughs> seriously i haven't eaten it since like sixth grade but but this i think they're tasty yeah they are actually yeah believe it or not i was i was i'm i was almost 70 pounds heavier <laughs> than i am now <laughs> Yeah. In fact, your doctor called you on a Sunday and said, yeah. yo, you got to make a change like this minute. Yeah. Doctors yeah. don't normally call on Sundays. That was 15 years ago or something, probably. I don't know. It's been a while. I was in my mid-30s. You might have been in your early 30s. Yeah. But it's hereditary in your family, so. But it's not. Your grandpa had a high cholesterol. You guys, are you guys, are you guys enjoying drawing a grasshopper and a hot air balloon? Oh yeah. Yeah. I am too. <laughs> I'm neglecting the balloon, but I'll I'll customize that later. I saw I was feeling like I was totally neglecting my balloon, and then that's why I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna break out my watercolor brush and. 
and then uh, do something to it. Yeah, those are nice. I like how they fade down. Yeah, that's why, because like on this one that I did, mm -hmm. I used that shitty marker. But I, I don't want it to be too, you know, like too much. And those watercolor brushes are just perfect. You can just get like the, just love it. <laughs> Did you put a little bit of red in the watercolor brush or did you? Yeah, so have you ever used one before, Ben? No, but I've seen them. Yeah, so I just buy cheap, super cheap, like this palette of watercolors, like this was probably $3 over it somewhere. But yeah, so you just, it's just, you just fill up the brush with water and then you just dip it. The way that you control how much comes out is how much you squeeze the watercolor brush. So you just, you just squeeze it to get some water on the end, dip it in whatever cup. What's great about it is you never have to wash them. You never have to do anything. You can go back and forth between colors. But yeah, you just squeeze it and it just lets some water down at the bottom and then dip it in whatever color you want to use. And then uh, if you want it to be darker, then obviously you don't squeeze as much water. Mm -hmm. um, but when you want it to get lighter, you just don't squeeze it at all. I mean, you squeeze it a little bit more, so the more water, you dilute it a little bit more. But yeah, they're, they're really like one day of, of just kind of messing around with it, you'll have it down. They're so great as far as working with gradients of one color, you know, like getting a lighter to darker. And I love the way they look with the with, with, with pen. But yeah, you, I mean, and they're actually way cheap too, the watercolor brushes. I've been meaning to pick one up. I just haven't yet. Yeah, I think you should, if you like kind of just messing around with the sort of diluted color, right? Like colors that are diluted and not so like, I mean, look at the difference. Like I just tried to touch my marker lightly on this and it just was too intense of a color. Um, but if you like to mess, if you want a little bit lighter color and stuff, I mean, that's what most of my work is, this watercolor brush and then the ballpoint pen. I like to add just a little bit of color, but mostly just love pen work but just a little bit of color like that yeah, you should get what's kind of with them I love them. they make a bunch like with different like thin like you know thinner wider I don't think any of that matters yeah you can just oh. get a cheap one for like four dollars okay. and then as far as like right now in the U.S., water is pretty cheap. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. who knows? That could change. Mm -hmm. You know what they do in Samoa that's pretty great? Um, this with your electric, but you actually, if you have electric, so most 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 homes. In, out in the villages, like, just kind of run off, like, they're true homesteaders. Like, they don't have electric, no walls, it's all open door. That's how you get your air It's like a tiki hut. Yeah. Just FYI. This is in- A giant tiki this hut. This is in West, like, what they call Western Samoa, but it's actually Western Samoa, it's just Samoa. Not American yeah, Samoa. because there is American Samoa. But anyway, uh, for like your, uh, your utilities bill, you have to, you go downtown, which is a hefty drive, you go pay for what you use. So all of the outlets, everything, like if you have electric at the house, they all have a switch on them. So all the outlets have a switch there. You just have those off because you get charged for what you use. So what, what I'm, I guess what I'm saying, so you go down to, you go downtown, go to the utility company and you give them $50 and you say, or fifty dollars. You say, here's fifty dollars. I'm that and that. So they'll give you fifty dollars of utilities. That makes sense. <laughs> huh. So it's like that, a am pre, I explaining that right? It's like a prepaid phone. Yeah. So you get a prepaid electric 
service, so you're more conservative. Yeah. So what's what great about you yeah? Do. You're so much more. You're much more conservative. About every what outlet, is. like even the outlet, say you have your TV plugged in, you'd go and you just switch the off button so that you're not burning any extra electricity. That's pretty cool. Cool. And actually, uh, Western or American Samoa is the um, just like this year or 2019. Uh, the only and first country, entire country, ran off solar from, uh, what's his nuts? Tesla. Tesla. No. 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 He's what's dead. his name? Elon Musk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he uh, tried it out in that country. He tr first tried it out over there. So American Sun was 100% run off uh, solar power, which is pretty, pretty wild. That's great. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, what? you're being offensive. Is that? I don't know. Oh. Could be. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I like that. That's just an accent. I know. Is anyone here from Canada? Yeah. I love that. I am, and we don't talk like that. Oh, That's right. I'm so... You never said a boot. Never. I am very it offensive. I'll you said how do you, how do you say that? Only if you're from Newfoundland, so not us, sorry. How do you, we don't speak like that. How do you say about? About, like a normal human being. <laughs> Wait, you just said a normal human being. <laughs> no offense to the Americans, but I don't know why you think we speak like that. You're the only I, ones that I've heard say that. Oh, I've, 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 so I, I have a couple of these people are my favorite musicians. <laughs> And they always say a boot. A are they drunk? <laughs> no, maybe they are. Well, <laughs> maybe they are. <laughs> there are a few uh, YouTubers he watches who yeah, are like the guy. DIY stuff. Yeah, so they must be from is, the Newfoundland area. Is that only yeah. that area that says that, that does the that does the O's is a O? Yeah, it's O's. it's more them than us. Yeah. Ah. So is that also Tom Green's area? Because he kind of did that. Yeah, Tom Green does that too. Tom Green? Yeah. Do you know him, Tom Green? He was famous. He was the prof He there. was a professional skateboarder for a long time, and then he did the, the movies. He was married to Drew Barrymore for a little bit. It was kind of annoying. But <laughs> no, I don't know him. Of him. Is that all? So that that's what you said. So that's only that area. Yeah, it's, I, but I love it. I love that sound. <laughs> okay, yeah, then my wife's right. Then it was offensive. Okay. I was like, I think all Americans talk loud. Don't they? <laughs> <laughs> we know better. <laughs> Some of us do. Depends on how long you've been down south. Well, so you're, now you're just saying that all southerners talk like that. Throat, everybody. <laughs> no, yeah, that's yeah. Well, I guess I will. Uh, I'll check that. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> I love the sound of it. We were supposed to go up into uh, Canada and British Columbia. Wait, which part? Where are you at in Canada? We're from Manitoba. So north of what American city? That might make it easier. Uh, Minnesota. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, the, I had a, I, years ago I had a, the last movie I produced was played at a film festival in, uh, I, I, forgive me, if I'm, but it's, uh, this is at um, north of Seattle, but it was a town called Okanagan. Okay. Yeah, That's it's beautiful it. down there. Is it, but so she, my wife says Okan again, is it Okanagan? It's Okanagan. Okanagan, yeah. Yeah, we drove up there for that. That was that place was amazing. That it's was beautiful. It really was. We so me and my my producer my partner that produced the movie with me, we flew into Seattle and then drove uh, and then rented a car and drove up to up up into there. But yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, so we're always scared that with our van that's full of the art that customs will be just a nightmare getting in or back out well, it, yeah, you, yeah it is right well now who knows but because we have inventory in our van and we're not sure if 
coming in or out if they're going to want to count every they, they want single on thing on the van, but uh, one day. <laughs> one of my favorite, ep uh, so I love, um, uh, what do you love? Anthony Bourdain. Mm -hmm. I loved him. Yeah. I love that dude. I just loved him. But he did that. Uh, he went went ice fishing, but that wasn't. He went with some of his friends out there, and they were ice fishing. But where was that? What town was that? Well, anyway. Yeah, I think that was the East Coast, maybe Toronto, or something like that. I can't remember where it was, but it was like he. It was just him and his buddies. Uh, and they just hung out and they were just cooking, like just making all this great food out on the ice. And uh, I just got all bummed out because I brought up his name because I love that dude. Yeah, he was cool. He was a brilliant mind. A brilliant mind and, and had a taste for uh, living life. Like just and a, culture. That's what I mean. So, so a taste for it. So he wanted all parts of life. And, yeah, and he wasn't afraid. It was nice. I it was it. refreshing. It was so refreshing. We were in Denver. We were in Denver, Colorado that morning, and he died. And that was what I did. Is I did a. We were, we were in a, some hotel. I remember that morning. I woke up and saw that he died, and I did a portrait of him on a an envelope, a Manila envelope, from the hotel. I just I couldn't believe it I just couldn't believe it yeah it's people like him who make me wish that I didn't care what I was eating like if I wanted to eat a grasshopper because they were eating grasshoppers I would just be like okay let's try it well, it's good that you care though but it would be a lot easier if I didn't no but when we were traveling let's get serious and they're only giving you canned herring right but many things are easier all the easiest things aren't necessarily the right things well still hey yo <laughs> that was very i was like trying to be a, like a being very <laughs> you're good still it is very difficult traveling out of the country with you though. <laughs> <laughs> i know we were in uh Samoa. Wait, does that have dairy in it? I'm like, wait a minute, let me see that ingredient list. What are you talking about? about? <laughs> I'm Samoa. like, oh, never mind. I'm uh, just eating plain rice, please. Nothing's in it. There's no. No, I was going. It. We didn't go there when we knew about our dairy allergy, but we ordered nachos at um, <laughs> some place in Samoa, and they gave us like potato chips. barbecue potato <laughs> chips with some sort of oh the same kind of nacho cheese that you get at costco that uh well some of that that like velveta ish cheese yeah. canned cheese and then there was this this weird ground meat that was oh, yeah. not beef because <laughs> i remember soul was like what is this mom I'm like i don't know but <laughs> sorry but that's all you've got to eat so you better just eat it that was that was funny. What can I add on here? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this thing. I like it. I like the, uh, I don't know why I like it. Well, it probably looks because good. I've had enough drinks. No, it looks good. You know what I really wanted to do? So, the the uh, the old the like antique or like the real vintage hot air balloons are just just rope where it's all Netting. cross yeah. rope. Yeah, that I love that look. I love or this. So it, it's a rope up to here, and then it's just that. Yeah, I love that look, but. For a drink and draw, I thought that might be a little too much. Well, but if I was to do a drawing of like a hot air balloon, like that's what I would go for, like you know, as an actual piece. This what I think I might go back and actually make it all of a drink and draw. I'm actually I've been considering doing like a just a tiny little flip book of them. I think that'd be fun. What do you mean a flip book? Just a little tiny 
little sketch, like a, you know, those little tiny books like you get, what do you call those? You can't call them a coffee table book because they're tiny. You know, like those little books oh, that I love yeah. to get? Just a little, yeah, just a little like, like a three by four inch book. Yeah. That are, yeah. I, what do you call those books? Well, I don't know. They always have like proverbs or some. Yeah. Thing. Or like Mark Twain quotes or something. Quotes. What do they, what do you call those little tiny books? I always like to call them flip books. I don't know. Maybe they are called that. I don't really know. But I just thought that'd be fun. Yeah. Supposed to be small, so like all these cheap details, once they get condensed, they're even smaller. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I need to put something in this. What should I put? What? What did you say? I was thinking it'd be cool to do something that I'd already done before, from a, like a past D and D. Maybe I'll just put D and D. You fit that? Huh? You can fit that. Hey, thanks, Heather. We will travel safe. Thank you. We'll see you. Thanks for always being on the other end. <laughs> Are we doing that little um, show in Minneapolis? Did we decide? I, I, we can. I said I asked to be a part of the list. I just haven't heard from Oh, it. it's a list. Well, it's something. I don't know. I have not been great about my emails, to be honest. I wish you'd just hand them over to me because I would how, be great about them. How? Come out through there. Yeah. What are you going to get? Blueberries? No. You just ate okay, all the cherries and now you're going to eat the blueberries? Hey, no, Corona? Adrian. Why do you want elderberries? Because you have coronavirus. You went down to Java Joint and got Corona. Okay. Yes, you can have that. Has anybody had antibody? I know we're down to not too many now, but has anybody had an antibody test? Do they work? Does anybody know? No. Nope. <laughs> Is that something I want to get when we get to Utah? I don't want to know. Yeah, I think you should. I know I already had it. But you may not have. There was a really bad flu also going around this year, so. Oh, if that was just the flu, then I don't want to ever get corona. That was way more than any flu I've ever had, which I rarely get. Um, Layla says, thank you. Oh, thank you. Where is she? Is that in uh, Hawaii or? I don't know. She must have had her camera. She's always off. Blocked. I didn't even. Sometimes they don't notice people with their cameras. But she posts. Is it Layla? It is Layla, right? That's what I thought. Um, I think it's Layla. Oh, you know what I was going to put in here? It's those Chinese lanterns. And since I've already used some watercolor, she. Thanks a lot. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a hey, good night. Hey, thanks. We may be seeing you, maybe, in August. Where? Well, I'll be here. I'm not going anywhere, so. <laughs> okay. Well, they're doing little pop-up shows. Oh, that's right. Downtown. Um, Uptown. At Uptown. Instead of the big show, they're doing a few little ones throughout some weekends, so I guess we put ourselves on the list, so maybe we'll see you. Yeah. If you get out here, I'll be there. Okay. Sounds good. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Gary on? No. He's in a little while. Mm -mm. Well, I didn't notice that he was on.
don't think he was. I don't. I haven't seen him in anything. Or just about to take the test. Obviously, they're probably not all going to show the bottom part of that. But oh well. So what do I want to do here? I think I'll do the watercolor first. This could be actually a mark or material. But I'll try with just the watercolor first. Oh, that works really well for a flame. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to just get one of these brushes. <laughs> They're so great. Cool. Hopefully, what I do with the shading will make this really work. But I just wanted to do a little bit of flame in there. Gonna be weird to be back at home. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should stop talking Why? about it. I just realized we were being recorded, but because I just know that our moms are gonna be like, "Everything's fine now. Corona's gone. <laughs> <laughs> just come on over." I'm like, oh, maybe it's just safer we stay here. Okay. <laughs> Convince our daughter to do that. Yeah. I'm just fine staying here. No, I, I know. So I know. No, you need a break. I do need a break, though. I've been thinking about like, oh man, it'd be great to not have to wake up first thing in the morning and get right to work. Physical labor. We could do some some overhauls on the website and the well, I want to do a bunch of uh, stuff, so. drawing tutorial videos. Yeah. I want to do like, I wanted to do the hair one, like uh I'm gonna draw some hairs. I have a bunch of videos that I shot too of like just working in the gallery that I was doing as TikTok videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were dancing. No, just doing like uh, <laughs> just videos. But then mm -hmm. once I get inside from working all day, I'm like, I don't want to get on. I don't want to mess I know. around. I, I want to go to bed. No, it'll be good, but these times are a little bit weird. Well, we're kind of spoiled here. <laughs> I know, kind of. Like, oh, sorry. Well, I just mean, like, most people are just kind of going about their lives, but it's not dense. Right. So it's, the city's not The dense. population is... Yeah. a little more relaxed. I don't want to go over there. Yeah. Plus, there's more options for runs here. I hate the runs in Utah. The runs? Yeah, they're just... You get the runs in Utah a lot? No. <laughs> <laughs> the places where we run. I know. It's so boring. boring. But we could just drive up to the mountains Running and in the run. Running is awful. We could run Yeah, but trails. the whole driving to go I run know. is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> well, priorities. I know. I saw that Matt encountered a cougar on I his know. run. First time. He's been up there running in the mountains for like the last 15 years. First time he's ever encountered a cougar. Well, and it's funny because that was the same week that Jesse packed up. He was, my brother was 
camping with his kids in a tent, which he never does, uh, just up from his house and on the other side of the ochres. And he, in the four o'clock in the morning, he heard this cat that was sounded like it was right outside his tent. Probably because more people are out, out camping and stuff now than Maybe. ever before. And it's... Yeah, he was like, you kids go get in the car, we're leaving. And they left at four in the morning. Have you guys ever seen the video of the, <clears throat> the lady that's uh, oh, send a link. walking in the, um, she's like uh, in Florida and she's walking on a board uh, down on the boardwalk on one of those, what do you call it? Like a boardwalk it's in a the board swamps. On well, the swamps, I guess, but, and she's like kind of filming. It's and she's a state park kind of in Florida. And then she, and she's like, oh, 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 oh. and it, she's on one of those boardwalks where there's nowhere else to go. And there's a gigantic, oh, okay. My wife's sending a link, a gigantic panther. That's just right. Like, it's, you know, can't get away from her. She got so lucky. <laughs> she totally got so lucky that, that that thing didn't just destroy her. Cause it was, it was definitely just, there too, thinking like I have nowhere to escape. I'll just eat you, woman. No. Well, not what it was thinking. It was like, lady, you're scaring me. I'm out of here. I, I'm just saying. Usually, when that's when animals usually end up uh, attacking is when they uh, fear for them. You know. To... You don't know how to use your mouth. This is odd. You don't. Well, if you a... just go to, like, look, watch this. Go to go to the video itself and just go share. Just save it. Copy. Oh, okay. Just copy and then just. <laughs> Sorry, I've never used a yes, actual watch computer. It's pretty, it's pretty scary. It was. It's definitely scary for us because we're always at a state park. <laughs> we frequent state parks in Florida. There you go. But you can, like, you can. What I love about it is you can hear it in her voice. Like you can hear all of, like, how exactly. And how she you was. Feel. A, she was a fellow artist. She yeah. was in our industry, and she was doing the same thing. She's probably just, you know, camping in her van, waiting for the next show at a. You Beautiful just hear state that, park. That feeling of like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, big <laughs> cat coming at you. Oh, I would be freaking out if I, we were there with our kids. Oh yeah. Well, that that, that cat would have felt trapped and around. I mean, how would it have gotten by? Like it just barely gets by. That's how I felt at that bar when I almost got killed. <laughs> you better not talk about that. I won't. I'm not going to, <laughs> but <laughs> You were definitely surrounded by people. I, I escaped just like how that cat escapes. Yeah. Do those look like Chinese lanterns? I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, they do. My brains. I think we, my neighbor left. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Huh? Someone in town. Yeah. I know. It's cool. He's been on here a few times too. He's never fessed up that he was from here. This is really, I mean, the odds are slim to have someone from here. Even we have a lot of friends here and they're not even on, so. <laughs> but, well, what, no, no, why, would they want to why would they want to hang out with you? I don't know. Well, not drawing. <laughs> I want to hang out with them and just have have bears. I know. You need one more because that's very symmetrical. Oh my god! Yeah, I can feel it. There's six. That's an even number. It feels awful. <laughs> they're all the they're all the same shape. <laughs> that's okay. No, it's not. <laughs> I can't even really like imagine what they look like. Remember when we went? Remember when when they lit them off over there at the yeah. house, and they were like floating down to the neighbor's house, and they burned. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! Fireworks are banned here, and we went to our neighbor's house. They're local; they've lived here forever, and they're we have these big old Victorian houses downtown here, so we get up on these flat roofs. We went up on their roof and they were lighting these lanterns off and letting them. And they just kept floating down into the neighbor's tree. <laughs> it was like, oh my God. 
this is going to be really bad. But, you know, it wasn't. We're from a dry desert state where everything catches fire and everything should be banned. So, but isn't. Oh, yeah, they legalized it all there. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I was just like, I got to get out of here. I can't watch this neighbor's house burn down because we had to light a few lanterns. Of course, they're all drinking up on this roof. That's okay. Oh, I know, but it just makes me nervous. Lighting lanterns, setting houses on fire. I don't know. It's just not my thing. What the uh, fire hyd or uh, fire hydrants are for? Hmm. Oh yeah. Moto moto still, moto moto still, moto moto still. Nice, 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 nice. I don't want to put more in here. Well, you need to fix that poor foot thing. What, what? Oh, right here? You don't like that? Well, I guess you could just get white out. Do you have white out? I don't want to white out it. Let's fix it. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to bed. You can do whatever you want. Is it late? No, it's not. Oh. How about... How's Chicago, Adrian? I think you're in Chicago. Yeah, I'm in Chicago. It's, you know, I'm one of the paranoid people who doesn't leave the house, so... Oh, okay. We're acting like nothing's going on. My husband's a chef and his restaurant's open today. So, what, hold on. What, what part is, of Chicago are you at? I just missed what you said. Oh, sorry. My husband is a chef and his restaurant just reopened today. Oh. So, um, that's, you know, every, a lot of stuff is reopening at like somewhat capacity right now. Are you in like Chicago proper? Yeah, yeah. His restaurant's right by the Millennium Park, like overlooking the Park. Oh, wow. So are they all masked up when they're... The workers cooking? are, yeah. Yeah, they, and the Ooh. amount of um, like, new protocol they have is crazy. It's very time-consuming and expensive, so it'll be interesting to see how this all works out. Right. Yeah, the profit margin has got to be totally different. Yeah, it is. And there's no more like menus or anything and the servers. Don't clear your table until, until you're gone and stuff like that. It's very different. Right. Yeah. Huh. I just started following a guy in Chicago that just bought, bought a warehouse like, on right well, on YouTube. Right before the, the pandemic happened. And he was like turning it into his apartment and a and a work like a wood shop or something. It's pretty interesting, but he got a great deal on like on the, it's like giant a uh, giant warehouse. I I want to say it was in Wicker Park. No, I can't remember what the area it is. If it was in Wicker Park, that's pretty nice. That's where the gallery is that carries my work in Wicker Park. They just barely opened their doors, and they said it's been pretty uh, bizarre too. Yeah. What kind of chef? What 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 kind of what? Uh, what is your husband? What kind of chef? What what does he do? Like, what's his specialty? Uh, well, he's Italian, but he's classically trained French. Um, but the restaurant is actually more of like a the vibe is like a Michigan Lake Michigan Lake House, so it's huh. supposed to feel like you're just having a picnic with your family. Oh, at cool. A lake house. Yeah. Oh. Very casual. It's like a casual. Kind of beautiful view that the it's on a rooftop of a hotel overlooking Millennium Park. Oh, okay. Does so, he love if you're to in town? Let me know. What? Yeah, yeah know. When, when we're always in town. What's the hotel? We'll just go stay there. <laughs> yeah, it's um. Oh God, he would love that. He's such a big fan. Um, it the hotel is called the Chicago Athletic Association. It the was Chicago a, Athletic Association. Yeah, it was an athletic club in the eight, late 1800s that they've converted into a hotel. So there's some really interesting history. And then the restaurant on top is called Cindy's Rooftop. 
Okay. Trendy's rooftop. Cindy's. Oh, Cindy's. Cindy's rooftop. I think Cindy's rooftop. I'll look it up. That's where I usually spend my uh, usually spend my birthdays in Chicago. Really? Well, huh? yeah, I mean, I like yeah. We'll just it's like it's only a, less than a three hour drive for us, so we'll yeah. go out of the gallery for a minute, and then we usually go get sushi the night of my birthday with uh, with our friends that own the gallery, but. Yeah, my my wife's favorite place is in Boys Town, um, uh, the Chicago, Chicago Diner. Chicago Diner, because she's vegan, so. Not really. Oh, yeah, but... I hear such good things about that. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, it's so great. It's the only place that, if you're a vegan, you can get, like, a legitimate, uh. Shitty shit. No, like a, a chicken fried steak. Like, you can oh. get a <laughs> like, like, shitty food. <laughs> yeah. Shitty delicious. But does he love to cook? For you at home? He does. Actually, he had the last three months off, so he spent the last three months just, like, trying all new stuff. He got really into Korean food. He's been eating a lot of, like, vegetarian Korean food. I, yeah. I hate cooking. (laughs) I can't stand it. But I love when you cook for me. I love it. I just don't. I just don't. I don't get it. You're good at it. Oh, but I don't want to do it, you oh. know? Like, a chef, they want to, like, create oh. this something delicious. I'm like, don't we have leftovers? <laughs> just eat something. Anything. Yeah. Just... It's like his yeah. last, you know? He loved it. You're right. I envy that in people. And I see some every once in a while, like, maybe a Sunday morning when it's I don't have other things going on. I'm like, oh, I'll do something, but... For the most part, you made me th- I really th- hate delicious food. biscuits and gravy for Father's Day. I love that. My favorite meal. Well, I just don't really enjoy it. Oh, that's right. You just don't enjoy it, but you are good at it. So I admire those who love to do it and they enjoy it. And yeah. I wish they could like sprinkle that. <laughs> fairy dust on me. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. Look, I fixed your extended. I know, I know this is That's how he fire. Lit, he lit the lantern. No, he lit the lanterns. Yeah. Oh. Well, best of luck to it. best of luck to him. Thank you. In a new environment. That's interesting yeah. yeah we haven't been to the restaurant yet since they opened Mm-mm. i'm looking forward to the best sushi restaurant in the country in and your I, opinion I, in my opinion i guess but my opinion is based off of eating in every single sushi restaurant that's worth eating at in the united states yeah okay. is in salt lake city utah <laughs> you're not biased uh, i'm not <laughs> I'm really not. That Takashi's, because I can eat it, I can get great sushi. It's not the, okay, I'm not going to say the best in the country, but I'm saying it's right up there with the top. It's Takashi's. And he has the, oh, and I'm looking forward to just. Do you think they're open? I, I, I'm hoping he is, but I, I, that, that's what I'm getting at is it's the best. And I'm still kind of weary about, like, do I want to go sit in that? Because what if that's where I ended up getting it before I came out here? <laughs> if you got it and not the oh, flu. Okay. okay. Now we're going with that I had the flu? Well, I don't know. You're the one that kept telling me that it was definitely corona. Well, all the symptoms matched up, but. <laughs> it was. Who knows? That's true. But anyway, yeah, I do want to. I'm, 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 like, wondering if I, if I'm. You know, that's my favorite place in the country. And I'm well, still worried that we're going back. That's, I'm wondering, like, holy yeah. cow, do I want to go sit in there? That's why you could get the antibody test and just know that if maybe had. if it hasn't mutated, maybe you'd be fine again. Yeah. I love that place. Takashi's. And he's a good dude. And he's, yeah, yeah. He just flies. He has the best everything for me. There are a few other great ones. We went to a good one on your 40th birthday in Chicago. In Chicago? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
Chicago has great sushi restaurants. Called. That was just out, that was just in Boys Town. Where we went with Chris and Laura? Yeah. That was in Boys Town. It was, uh, oh. It's called like Morimoto or something. I don't even know nice. if I heard it. This, this is feeling like one of the first like uh, drinking draws we did where I was able to spend good time on it. I don't know. Hmm. I like it. I feel like this yeah, flag should be colored. Is that like a windsock? Where, where, where? Or is where? it a flag? Where? where? It's a flag. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a flag. Oof, it's hot. Did you open up the doors? I opened up the door. Yeah. Let's look at some other people's drawings. All right. Anybody want to show your drawing? I think it's been a long time since I hung out with anybody. Ah, we've been sitting here since <laughs> April. Yeah, I'm like, I'm in. I'm in to hang. You look over there. Please. Ah, Stegel. How do you guys say it? I always say it. Isaiah too. Yeah, Stegel. What was it? Stegel. Good beer. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, wait up. What are what's busting out of them? Are they are they flies? What yeah. what yeah. That's brilliant. Oh, look at all these details happening over here. Fantastic, Ben. Can I call you Ben? You have your name Benjamin, but yeah, Ben's fine. That's what I usually go by. Oh, man. I love that mask so much on that. That's a great idea. Look at the toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, you used the toilet paper last time, too, all right? Yeah. <laughs> on the chimp. I we, loved it. We may need to send you some. Are you out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Are you draw what are you drawing with? Are you drawing with pen? He's muted. No, okay. That's all right. <laughs> Is that it? That's all that's here? Well, that's all that wants Just the few of us. David doesn't want to show. Yeah. Down to a small handful. I think I'm going to keep sketching for a minute. Oh, now I see what you're talking about. A ghost face. Yeah, ghost face killer. Very nice. Yeah, Christian looks up. <laughs> yeah, I just have to use the water closet real quick. <laughs> Why? He's so fancy. Hey, Katie. I'm looking up Cindy's rooftop. It looks really nice. It is really nice. Great view. Good food. Oysters. I see. They have the best oysters in Chicago. And I'm not biased on that. I promise. <laughs> if you guys want to go, let me know. Seriously, I can make sure you get it. I'll do. We need to be allowed back in the Chicago first. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the real question. Do they have anything veganish? And by veganish, I mean non dairy, no meat. But um, I know they're completely redoing the menu right now, and that's something that intentionally making sure is on there. So I well, will double check. <laughs> well, that's okay. And really, and you can always do special stuff. Right. It's not hard to mix up some veggies. And this looks like a place where the menu changes. And they're probably not getting, I mean, if they're at half capacity at best, 
Yeah. Like that's probably not their biggest worry <laughs> right now. It's their main staples, the oysters and the other things. Getting by is the, the main concern probably. I knew I recognized your name, Christian. I, I just messaged you back about, you know, about uh, something about tattoos. I just remembered. I knew I recognized it. All right, what do I want to put in here? What did everyone else have? What should I put in here, babe? I don't know. I guess I could probably just give a little more detail. Or something that I didn't want to miss. Oh yeah, that's right over the stage. What are you guys talking about? Oh, I'm, I'm looking up the restaurant that her husband works in. Oh. And it's right over that. Um, stage thing the pritzker pavilion the big like so yeah, oh. yeah. Right. right in millennium park yep millennium it's millennial what no, is it's it millennium 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 yeah Ooh. let's go to chicago yeah. <laughs> see right there chicago is oh. my favorite city in the country really it really is. I, I've been going there. My my, yeah yeah. <laughs> my my aunt, my my aunt lived there for pretty much most of her life, and she's one of the one of the early founders of um, slam poetry. And uh, cool. Uh, yeah, she she was, and she used to. She had no. She didn't have kids, so uh, I I was the only kid that was way into art and everything. So she would. And she was making pretty good money. So she's she an to, art collector. Yeah, she's, she's an art collector. So a... she would fly me out there when I just growing since I was been a little kid. She would fly me out there and just take me. And I was living in Utah at the time, so like she would take me everywhere to like you know the trend, like just the the shit that Utah would like. She would take me shopping like for clothes, everything, fashion, everything, and then I'd take that back to Utah, and people would be blown away like that. <laughs> <laughs> he was but, but spoiled. I, I, I was spoiled by her, but she would take me to like, cause like to all of like she was just connected. Being being one of the founders of slam poetry, like she was just connected to all of like the coolest shit back in. This was like uh, 1980, so like she was just connected to really cool shit. And uh, yeah, so I've been going there since I was a little kid, and and my my, my lifelong dream was to be in a gallery. Since I was like in, you know, a little kid, to be in a gallery in, in Chicago. And you're in one in Wicker Park right now? Yeah. yeah. What's that? Wicker. You're in one right now in Wicker Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to go check it out. Yeah, it's that, that, that gallery is called um, Jackson, Young. Jackson Young Gallery. And Young is okay. J. J U N G E. Okay. And it's right there. In this, right. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's a great gallery. And uh, they're great people that run the gallery. There's the chef. Yeah, this is my husband. He just got home. This is Christian. Christian. Um, hey, Christian. I can't wait to come eat at uh, at your spot. Cindy's. At Cindy's. Make sure that you make reservations through uh, Adrian or myself. Like, let okay. them know that you're coming, and we'll make sure that gets booked you. Yeah. Uh, well, so the next I time. so look forward to it. Oh, uh, I will be there as soon as we're coming to co as soon as we can figure out a date to come to Chicago. Um, as soon as like it's sort of uh, opened up a little bit and a little more comfortable to be running around, we're yeah. there. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really it's really only like a three and a half hour drive for us for here. That's a hop, skip, and jump. And yeah, and we have a place to stay out there. So yeah, what, yeah, I I would I I I would I would love that. Yeah, you should come to our house as well. I mean, like you're welcome anytime. You know, I can. It's you, not you, when, when we get there, can you take, do you, are you, do you like, are you a sushi guy? Do you like sushi at all? Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Can you take, can, if we come out there, can we just hang out one night? Like, cause my wife doesn't eat fish, but I, I mean, sushi is the best thing in the world to me. Maybe we, when we come out, like, are you can trying you, to get rid of me? 
No, well, <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I, we'll go to places where you can eat. Trust you me. Like, can you take, yeah, like, because, uh, yeah. There's a dude that just flew in there. There's a guy that just came in there um, a couple months ago. Well, maybe it's like six months now. He came in from uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, he just opened up a, um, you know, a, 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 like a legit, like a nine-seater, um, Wow, where was that at? I went and ate at it right when he opened up. He had great. But anyway, my point being, you could, you, you, we can go out and get some sushi. I'll go oh, with yeah. you. So I'm, I, I'll, I destroy sushi. Destroy it. Yeah. Um, you take me to somewhere. You take me to somewhere that's like the dopest place in, in Chicago. Oh, we'll go to Momotaro. Yeah. Um, Momotaro oh. Fantastic. Yeah, we've been there. Love yeah. that place. Those are my boys. And then, uh, That's where I went for my fort, my fortieth birthday. That's awesome. Yeah. So Mark Halliar was the old chef, and he taught those the new chef. Uh, Gene's from Sumi Robata Bar, yeah. which is like absolutely insane. I love yeah, that, that place is dope. Yeah. They have that. They, they did that smoke that uh, the uh, the, uh, the it was tomato smoke in that like. Oh, oh yes! Oh man! I want to go. I want to go right now. Absolutely. I want to go right now. So Mark and I, the, the opening chef of that place and I worked together at uh, Nomi, which is um, for a long time. Um, and then he was out in Philly for a while. Super, super talented. Then he went to, he actually worked in Japan for, for quite a extent. Good guy. He's back in Philly now. Um, and we can also go, and I know it's cliche because there's a couple of them that are like in LA and they're like big names. So there's a sushi place that just opened up or opened up like a year ago. And, in Chicago called Katana. Um, and there's like one in LA and it got shit reviews opening in Chicago. But the head sushi chef is a guy named Masa Shimakawa who worked with me and worked for me. And he is one of the most underrated, talented sushi guys in the city of Chicago. And he's fantastic. And he's got a spot out there in Chicago? Yeah, over by the old House of Blues Hotel. By the House of Blues. So, and he's, yeah. his, his food is like he's he's amazing amazing i'm not trying to i'm definitely not trying to like get rid of my wife but when we come in town can we can we go yes <laughs> yeah that'd be awesome yes that'd be so cool and then there's like a couple of small and, sushi spots in chicago that are fantastic like you, you gotta go to arami which is like ridiculous um there's so many good oh juno and one of my sous chefs worked at juno so well, like it, it's in fact, sure he worked with you now. Huh. It's incredible. Small space, you know. And just that, those are the ones I love. Man. I listen. I'm I'm all about fish. I mean, I've grown up on fish. Like I just the one I love the ones where it's like it's legit. Like all about the fish. So yeah. well, we're gonna plan this out. Yeah. All right. So I'm in. Adrian, can my wife, Adrian? When 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 no. me and Christian go out to go, <laughs> she can go with you. She's not opposed to Oh, I'm not fish. saying that. I'm not saying that. But so, uh, <laughs> we'll work it out. Yeah, she's not opposed. We'll to right. You're right. And Adrian, there's a lot of great vegan food in Chicago. Um, it's you know it's yeah there there is there really is a lot yeah. of great vegan food and. There well, actually, you come to Cindy's, we'll take care of you when it comes to the vegan food. Okay. Um, I've got some free time. <laughs> I'm not really worried about it. I also love vegan food, so Thank I you. would go so there. I, it's, Adrian, it's not that, I was going to say, it's not that I'm actually vegan, but the kids and I just have an, like a reaction to dairy. So we or, always order them vegan because then I know there's no dairy in it. Yeah. Dairy messes me up. Um, yeah. It's yeah. not worth it for the three of us. Yeah, so, my kids have a bad reaction to it. I had super high cholesterol um, and went on a vegan diet. I went straight plant-based for three months. I think my cholesterol was 100 points high. Yeah. I brought, my, I brought my cholesterol down over 100 points by going vegan on a diet. In yeah. three months like that. So I, I do not knock veganism, and it forces – me as a chef to cook differently and better and expand my horizon. So. Right. Yeah. yeah. We had a lot of kale braised in Georgia. 
I missed that. What? Kale. We eat a lot of kale braised in salsa. Oh. Which is fantastic. Um, and a lot of um, coconut braised salad greens as part of and kale too. Mm -hmm. see the Death Star? Yeah, I see the Death Star. Oh, yeah. I see your TIE Fighter Star. Yeah. Well, sounds like I got a date with that, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else does everyone have to offer? I want dates. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to Canada. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Manhattan's gone. Benjamin's in Ohio. But um, are you near Columbus? Who? No, he's in to near Toledo. I'm in Toledo. Sorry, I speak it. Why didn't you guys come to Hamburg? I, I don't speak English. I don't speak uh, very well. Oh, that, that's oh. A Christian, Christian Russo, right? Christian Russo? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. What is your native language? Spanish. What was I don't speak very well English. What do you, what language mm -hmm. do you speak? Italian. What was it? Italian. Italian. Yes. Well, that's your, you're better at Italian than I was. No, all the only Italian I know is Arrivederci. Do you understand Italian? Italian? Arrivederci. No, no understand. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, yeah, Sorry. I, Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you, you sent me a, uh, 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 an email uh, message earlier, yes, yesterday or something on Facebook. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Uh, hold on. Oh, I can't show him. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad you're here, Chris. That's a, that, you're, he's also another Christian. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Christian that I have a date with for sushi, and then Christian Russo. Russo? Russo. Christian Russo had sent me a, a message about tattoo work and that he likes. Uh, um, and I emailed him back. Oh. But he speaks Italian. And I don't oh, speak okay. great Italian. Well, there's always Google Translate. So. Love Italian? I, I know. <laughs> never, no. never mind Italian? No. But he does Love okay. Italian? He did okay. Santa Maria. No. Where are you from? Uh, Caserta, near, uh, near Naples. Oh, Naples. Naples? Hmm. That's nowhere near where we went. No. Where did we go when we were in Italy, Adrian? Oh, hold on. Oh, we went to... Um, uh, oh, wow. Now, why did you leave here? Huh? <laughs> so pretty. I said, Wait, where why would you, you leave? Where are you, where are you now, Christian? Uh, I'm Santa Maria, near uh, Caserta. Mm. I don't That's know. Very well. Uh... I missed that. Yeah, I feel like we're in an episode of Ghost Dog. I know. Sorry. Mm. Ah, show them the picture. Where you saw it. I think a lot. Lisa, do you speak, yes. Lisa, Lisa, do you speak Italian? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't anyone else speak Italian? I, I, uh, yes, you can speak Italian, it's very good. <laughs> because I do not speak very well English. Sorry. Is this where you live? Where you were from? Sorry, boy. Huh? I speak Italian. Uh, I speak very well Italian. I, I only know Arrivederci. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't know. When you were in Italy, you were throwing some like Godfather. Uh, I, need to in, I need to be in Italy to be able to speak Italian. 
Just like one word. But, uh, I get real southern. I love your lesson. <laughs> We're not even in the south. I know. It's funny. I, I know. You want to know what? We aren't in the south. And it's funny. It's crazy to see all these people here in town driving around with those with that freaking stars and bars flag. I can't, it just blows my mind. I'm like, what are you guys, what are, the, who do you guys think? Well, you that's guys? funny that you said that, that you started speaking in the south and southern tongue. Because when you were on your, on the phone with your aunt in Samoa yesterday, <laughs> like, your cadence changed. To Polynesian? How is it there? I no, know. I don't know. <laughs> the cadence mm. of that is Change too. Oh, I know. I'm a, I, I'm a comedian. Island, island voice. That's funny. I definitely get island voice when I'm around my family. I know you do. I was going to add something to this, but now I just feel like I'm just having yeah. a beer hanging out with people on Zoom. <laughs> I mean, you, you talk about island voice. I'm from Queens. What's um, that? I'm from Queens originally. Different uh, island. <laughs> every, every time I talk to every time I talk to my family, the Queens accent comes out really hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like, or if I get pissed off, or if I'm drinking, that like my accent comes out hard. It doesn't matter. It's like. What? So what do you, do, you a, do a queen? Do the queens? Do the queens accent? <laughs> oh, you can't! Like, you can't put me on spot. You no. can't do it on call. <laughs> I walk the dog. I drink coffee. Um, <laughs> it's, it's hard to do on the spot because I finished yeah. off in '99. Oh, you know that that Chicago accent? Oh my! Oh my God! I have more of a Chicago accent on a daily basis than I do a Queens accent. But oh, Chicago accent's real. I never I used to realize it. that until we, until I just, I don't know what, something happened, something happened. We heard like, I was just like, whoa, that's a real accent. Remember when yeah. we first you, you, you get the South Siders that, um, they, they sound like the, um, the Bears fans from, from SNL. Oh, Bears. <laughs> you know, and, and they do, man. My, uh, Director of engineering in my building, so south side, it's not even funny. I don't even know if I got that stuff, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, I feel like it has a hint of, um, of uh, many of Minnesota yes. and North Dakota. Yeah, it and does. Canadian <laughs> vibe to it. <laughs> where, where are you guys at? You're in Minnesota, but. Missouri, sorry. We're in Missouri. We're from Utah. We're from Utah. <laughs> Utah is so we don't... one of the most incredible states that it I is. Is. It's such a gorgeous country. Um, Adrian took her parents, uh, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and myself there on like a family road trip 10 days to Utah, national parks, and it's, yeah. it's so incredible. So yeah, they are. Yeah. They're very. They're heavily touristed, especially yeah. now. But yeah. they're. It's hard. I feel like it's hard as a local to get down there because it's so heavy. Unless mm -hmm. you go in the dead of winter. We went to Arches. Um, oh, it was great. I think in January yeah. this year. Nobody was there. Cool. Was fantastic. That sounds awesome. But to get to the arch, like I literally had to crawl on ice off on a cliff <laughs> of death. Oh, that's to true. To get to Delicate Arch. To get up to Delicate Arch during the winter, there's a the ledge. I don't know if you've ever been to Delicate Arch, but there's a little ledge that you have to walk around. And in the winter, it doesn't ever get sunlight, so it's frozen ice, and it's literally life or death, like. But it's worth it because <laughs> delicate arch is pretty incredible i mean my favorite things like and some of my favorite places here i love canyon lands unbelievably and the view from mesa arch from like sitting inside mesa arch looking out over everything blew my mind that was probably my most my, my favorite view horseshoe bend was insane um it's just 
it's it's great. Like yeah. in Moab, like I know it's touristy, but like the um, just the the take of the locals and people, like the native of like Moab is incredible. So much fun, such a good vibe. Yeah, we've always done the Moab thing. In fact, Ty basically has a sister there. She kind of it's not technically my sister, but I she's my sister. Yeah. <laughs> His neighbors kind of helped raise him. They had nine kids, and one of the girls ended up down in Moab, and she has a farm there. Have you ever seen those outdoor schools for preschoolers? No. No. They have in Scandinavia, like, it's all outside play, nature play and stuff. Oh, cool. She was one of those down there, which is very cool. cool. She inherited this big farm from this old dude, and yeah, so we, we try to get down there when we can and stop by her place and Moab's great. Yeah, Moab's really And like and I and part of me um I like the dude in me loves motorsports to a certain extent and Jeeps and rock climbing and I I, I, yeah, yeah. I love that whole culture about Moab too and these guys I, I, just live for that stuff man. Oh I used to I used to own this rock crawler. I that I, I I know every every rock crawling place in in Moab. I was I, I was raised on that. That's like that was it. That was all I did. I was like I owned a rock crawler. We went rock crawling all the time. I know that place like the back of my hand. Uh, you take me to sushi. I'll take you coming to Utah. I'll oh, yeah. take. Um, I pro I'll take you everywhere you've never dreamed of. Like, yeah, well. and we'll we'll climb we'll climb up stuff that you would you can't even imagine that you can put a take a vehicle. The more vertical, the better. <laughs> um, I'm in, a hundred percent. And I'll cook out in Moab in the middle of the desert on a campfire. Done. No, we can stay and we have, we can camp and or my like I said like Adrian was saying my 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 sister owns a. Owns a farm out there, like. Huh? What kind of farm? It's a. Well. They have goats and uh, but she's now using it for her outdoor. The uh, nature school, but they just got schooling. farm grants. I was just talking to her yesterday, and she just got her first check for farming. So she's doing a community. Uh, they got horses garden, and goats. I guess, or something. They have, I think she inherited some water rights with it, which is huge down there. Yeah. Because it's like desert, no one gets water rights. I so mean, I don't know. Anything dealing with any farm. Um, yeah, and I'm sorry, Adrian, I love goat. Like, I would, I love goat cheese, I love goat salt. Um, depends on what they do. I would. Well, I don't know that they. So I don't know what they what they do with it. Right? Do they harvest milk? Do they harvest? Teacher, remember the teacher, the high school teacher uses a. But I don't know if they the... what they do with the goats. I know when one's like named Nacho. And I know what they do with cheese. the goats. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what that means. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm just being dirty. <laughs> they do yoga. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yoga. Thank you. <laughs> Who was that? They do yoga. They do yoga in the park. <laughs> the goat yoga. yoga. <laughs> I know. That was that's oh, perfect. Great answer. Or I'm they heading out, out Ty. Good to good to hang out, out again. All right, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank ben, you. Let's see your picture. Love your shirt. Let's see, <laughs> Ben. Good night, ben, ben. Let's see how you ended up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna you oh yeah, you're gonna get to the balloon in a little bit. Oh that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh that's great. Yeah. That's amazing. You got super detailed in there on the on the grasshopper. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, Christian showing up. <laughs> yeah, let's do oh, them. Well then he put okay. it down. Too bad nobody speaks Italian. I know. Now I know why he never talks when I'm like, Hey Christian, culture's up again. He must have just when he emailed me, he must have just used uh, I, I need to ask a question um, because I'm going to fanboy a little bit for a second. How did you develop your love for Star Wars and um, 
series. How, how did that wind up eventually working into your art? The Star Wars series. How did you end up doing the Star Wars series? Oh, I, I mean, I was born in 77 and Star Wars was always just like, it was, it was, Star Wars was just something that felt good to me. And <laughs> when I was, when I was doing a, oh, yeah, actually, you know what? A, a really good friend of mine uh, opened up, um, a, he was opening up a, a gallery. It was like when it, it was like, remember when the um, workspaces were becoming big, the community workspaces yeah. at the very yeah. beginning, years ago? Years, yeah. he meant like, yeah, That's like 20 or maybe like 15, oh. 10. Anyway, he was opening up a space. That, I mean, Star Wars art, because I loved Star Wars, but he 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 was opening up this space in one of those community spaces, and he had um, the original artist that did the Clone Wars, the the did the original Clone Wars cartoons. He wow. had him. He was friends with him or something, and he was doing a, a showing of all of his original sketches, and so he asked me to do. Um, a Star Wars sketch, and so I did that Boba sketch, the Boba Fett yeah. grown out of his head. That was the first Star Wars sketch that I did as like a piece of work. The, the Gendi Tartakovsky one? You kind of cut out, what? Tartakovsky, the guy that did like the, before it became the regular? I don't, I don't remember the guy's name. He was, okay. he, he, crea he did the, he did the original <laughs> drawings for, the Clone Wars series, the cartoon yeah. series. Okay, that's so cool. And that's who he had at his gallery. He had it, this this friend of mine is had it in his gallery, and and then he just wanted to have local artists. <laughs> this was in Salt Lake City. He wanted to have local artists <laughs> showing their work too, and so I I just did that Boba Fett drawing, and then I was like, well, what the hell? I love Star Wars. Why wouldn't I add more Star Wars characters? And so. I did it, and then I dropped it because it started becoming a little too trendy for me. I stopped doing them. Yeah. Like, and, and then I thought, I don't give a shit. I like Star Wars, and then I, that was <laughs> my uh, my Akbar drawing. That was when yeah. I was like, you know what? I don't give a shit. I love Star Wars. I don't care if it's trendy. I, it's this is how I have something I like, and I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> that's that's. Um, honestly, that's how I started following me. I saw the Boba Fett, and it came up in like my uh, my feed on Instagram, and then that was it. Like I scrolled through the rest, and I told my wife, "I'm like, you need to follow this guy. Like, he's a fantastic artist." And that's how we wound up here. That's cool. <laughs> um, Adrian and I are huge Star Wars fans, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna embarrass you for a second. No. Mm -hmm. Well, that that Boba piece when I did that, I remember. Do you remember um, when I drew it? I, I I I drew it, and I was like, "Well, that's just Boba Fett." Like I just drew a picture of Boba Fett, and I was kind of bummed. And I was like, <laughs> "I'm getting out his helmet." Yeah, no, but I, oh yeah, look at see, awesome. So we're members of the 501st Legion, which is the world's largest Star Wars costuming group. Wait, you wait. So you seen? Have you seen my wait. the? Uh, you saw the um these numbers of No no I was just gonna say you've seen the because it you were cutting out, but you saw the piece that I did um where he's kneeling and he's with the the fallen comrades piece. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually happy about that one. <laughs> They're all great. Well thank you. But what so, were you saying? <laughs> Uh, we're both members of the 501st Legion, and if you guys don't know what it is, it's the world's uh, largest Star Wars costume group. It's like a, we do like stuff for the kids yeah. that are like in hospitals, cancer, and stuff like that. Oh, cool. Costumes. So we like, we have our own costumes and we go and do appearances for like charities. And oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah, with a bunch of massive Star Wars nerds that all dress up in classic outfits. Yeah, we're super cool. Yeah. Have you built? Have you built? Have you built, have you built characters? Hey, we did our own. Yeah, we built our own. Uh, we just. Who, we both have a stormtrooper. That's all. Ah. 
So this is our this is my bucket which sits on the mantle. Uh, yeah. Fireplace. Awesome. That's what chair. you were saying. Yeah, because you yeah. were cutting out. I couldn't I couldn't see it or hear it. That's awesome. Yeah, so it sounds like they go around and do yeah. charities and visit people's cancer. Sean, Sean, the guy that paid, like had me do that Boba Fett piece, he built a, an incredible R2. I'm, I'm not R2. Uh, um, the round Probably thing. R2. R2. Yeah, R2. Yeah, yeah. R2. yeah, we have a lot of friends who build R2. Yeah, we, we, have, a, we have a buddy that builds multiple and now 3D BBAs. Yeah. They do BBAs. BBAs, so, R2 units, um, R4 units. Um, so you can do what they do it. Do they do 3D printings of them? Yeah. Now it's 3D now printing, do. but back in the day, everything was machining. So they would build them out of aluminum. Yeah, and, yeah. But they're they're fully workable. They roll. Everything is programmable. Um, remote That's control cool. through PlayStation remotes. Like were their iPhones? Yeah, well, iPhones. Have iPhones. Have yeah. Into their iPhones. It's so cool. You can drive it and have it like make safe yeah, things and awesome. stuff like that. And um, we got married in my restaurant, uh, in the restaurant that I run at Cindy's at the Chicago Athletic Association Hotel on New Year's Eve two years ago. And our, our buddy, she yeah, was basically a bridesmaid in my wedding. Pretty much. <laughs> and my buddy Kevin built it. My dad found out that he built our two units and looked at Kevin and was like, you need to fucking bring it to the wedding. That's it. So he brought it. And he was a bridesmaid. Awesome. That is cool. <laughs> That's who I needed as my bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. A robot. You so want a robot? Instead of my sister as my bridesmaid, I should have had a instead robot. Instead of your what? Instead of my sister, I should have had a robot as my <laughs> bridesmaid. We're recording this. And I know, and broadcast. you keep asking me what. I know, but she isn't ever going to, she might not even be alive to watch this video. So. That's just mean. That is mean. <laughs> <laughs> you do whatever you want. I think we're going to bow out. Yeah, so gonna bow out. Okay. Thank you guys. Can't wait to have sushi. Same here, dude. 100% in. I, that, I'm not even playing that game. But as soon as we're coming out to Chicago, you're going to be the first people we get a hold of. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'll reach out to you through Instagram. All right, man. Yep. Cheers. Have a great night. Good night. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. See My you. wife looks so forward to these, and it's so much oh. fun. So. Good. Peace out to me. Good morning. Go Bears. Good night, Christian. <laughs> good luck. They're cute. I know. We're all just hanging out now. Yeah. What are we doing to our drawings now? Want to see? Well, I'm, I'm just wondering what else. Lisa what? and Susan are working hard. <laughs> I know. And Christian's hanging. And Christian's <laughs> watching you draw. I'm trying to figure out, because I'm, I'm just, I am, I'm ready. I'm hanging now. What else are we going to add to it? David's over here quietly. Sometimes those people, they're just still in I and know. not realizing it. I just put a bunch of little Chinese lanterns in there. Did you see them? Mm -mm. Those are all, I just took the yellow marker and made them. And then I put in the, this leg and this one. Mm -hmm. What's, oh, yeah, what's very, oh, let's put something in for Christian. Uh, we just search out a the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> oh my gosh, he couldn't have been anywhere farther from that. Yeah, but it's still Italian. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna put spaghetti in there. Oh my god, <laughs> Italy has like the most. I know, but come on, I gotta just draw something easy. Maybe I could put a... No, wait, I can't, I can't get distracted. I'm glad that I put these in here, though. The, the back, his, the back side. What do you, what do you call that? How do you, what would you... Behind leg? 
No, but what would what do you the for uh, background? What would you call? What do you call like no. the, the background? The background. I'm only asking two people now, but <laughs> call it the background. But it's not because it's actually part of the the the, the piece. The background is all of this. Ah, the shit. foreground, I think, is this what is, is the in foreground. front of you. This is all the foreground. Yeah. But that's not part of the background. I'm going to go put the dinner away. Oh, I think I'll eat a hot dog. I want to add something else to this. I'm actually, I'm actually enjoying the drawing. I'm good. Yeah, I have not hung out and drawn for... I know, it's been a while. Two weeks. You guys, I was just going to tell the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't drawn for two weeks. That's crazy for me. I draw every single day. But all this work on my gallery is just like, that takes all my time. So I'm milking this, I'm milking every minute of this right now. I want to just keep drawing. Because I know I have so much work still to go and I won't draw again until. I'm kind of taking it for granted, but my, my hand feels fine. I don't know. I feel pretty good about it though. For just a couple of few hours sketch. Hmm. How do I feel? Mm. Oh, I know what it's not. It doesn't have. I wish everybody else would have this. I, I just wish everyone would enjoy just kind of hanging out and drawing like this. I know there are a lot of people that are, that do. They just haven't found out or haven't heard about it, this yet, but I don't know. This is a kind of, this is just like, I don't know. <laughs> this is too much fun. My drawing has, uh, Become so, it's so much part of my. I mean, it's how it's how I've made my living for the last fifteen years. That <clears throat> you, I like. It's just I don't ever think of it as work, but it does become. It's like it becomes part of it's my work, and so it, I don't get these to do this like. I don't ever approach it anymore where I'm just like, oh, I mean, I do. Like this morning when I just woke up at five o'clock this morning and I was just doodling, like that was just like, oh, I just, I have to get this thing out of my head. 
I still do a lot of that, but right. while I'm doing just that doodling somewhere inside of my brain, it goes like, oh, well, you, you can't just do this anymore. You've got to add more here because if this is going to be a piece that is going to be for a collector, that's a weird, bizarre experience. And so I enjoy that we're just hanging out here drawing. <laughs> and I, I know there's, a, I know there's just the, I know there's millions of other people out there that enjoy just this, just hanging out and drawing. But they're just not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in here that I just wanted to put in here. I know there's something. Mm. I do have to say I'm, 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 I'm slightly pleased with what I'm looking at, but I have been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> And I never drink when I draw, only when I'm doing a drink and draw. <laughs> I want to do something.
Hand feels good. Ish. Multiple halos. <laughs> I hope people tag their pictures at Johnny Ritchie. <laughs> Oh, my best friends. I'm afraid of grasshoppers. <laughs> I think in my last grasshopper piece, I had this old vintage TV. Bad one here. Oh yeah, because I used to watch Kung Fu on and all on, on TV. I should Google a picture of David Carradine. Draw him in there. Thank you. 
No. Probably the plug came out from the back. Oh man, this ink is, <laughs> this pen is so cheap, this ink is everywhere. All over my hands. I don't never work with pens to do that. Oh wow, I haven't mean, used one of these in a while. Yeah, that's me as a child, I'm smiling in here, thinking, oh, I have great fond memories of watching Kung Fu with my brother and my dad. Yeah.
So. So. What do you think, Susan and Lisa? You think uh, it's it's the last few times I've just I felt like it's mostly just been people that have been here before. So I've just really just been kind of cruising through it, and not being over ex over explanatory. Explain. Yeah. But uh, you think that's okay? <laughs> yeah. I haven't, had, I haven't had any issues with it. I've been able to keep up and so has my daughter. Um, but again, we've been there before, right? Like yeah. we, we kind of know what you're about. Yeah. I just don't, I, yeah, cause I, I but I kind of, I look at everyone that's here, that's one, like I'll look at everyone that's logged in and I, I'll kind of get gauge based off of if it's names I recognize or people who've been here, I don't want to just keep, you know. Like it was really good, like tonight, not a problem, but if you have something like a deer cat, like that kicked our butts. Like. Yeah. <laughs> that one destroyed. Awesome, me. but wow. That one, that one was, that, that one ruined my life. <laughs> 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 Will you always, ask if anybody has any questions which yeah. is really nice or if yeah. anyone wants help anything with anything and you do that a couple times so that kind of covers all the bases yeah 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 i don't know i sometimes weren't worried that people aren't really just willing to say like oh yeah i'm behind but yeah i just <laughs> i feel like the pace i feel like the pace has been good as of now i mean Early on when we were doing the drink and draws and I was really like uh, 
advertising constantly and just letting it like I was pushing really hard you know we were getting a hundred plus people which was fun but I actually didn't like all that much <laughs> because it was it's just that's just a that's just a few too many people and now it's gotten down to we're in the 20s and 30s, and 40, which is a little more manageable. But I just, yeah, I don't know. Like between me and my wife, we kind of, we don't know. We just go off of what we feel. And then I just look at everyone's drawings like at the halfway mark, even tonight. And I just see like, oh, well, everyone here knows what they're doing. I just don't want to jump too far ahead for people, but I'm, I'm, I guess what I'm just asking is, do you feel like the pace is, I guess it's not going to, asking you guys that, it's not going to work because you're <laughs> many before, so. Well, I think it helps when you say, like, encouraging stuff, like, if you're struggling, um, or you don't get something right, it's still, it's more about the experience and you're learning something by doing it. And yeah. you talk about how like you draw all the time. And um, and so like, it's all, it's all good because even if yours doesn't turn out like you want it, it's still, um, it's still a, a good learning experience and it's fun. Yeah. You know, it's it's fun most of all. Yeah, you know, and I, but I, um, yeah, I feel like I didn't, I haven't said that in the last few times, just because most everyone here is. Everyone was quick today when uh, when we saw everybody's drawings. I think like everyone was keeping up pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just want. I, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna try to keep track of everyone that hasn't been in before it's hard to know who's not been here before but for me that is one of the most that is one of the most important things is um like what you were saying it's like it doesn't matter you're just it's all here just we're just drawing and sketching and hanging out <laughs> everyone, everyone that's been here before they all they all know you i mean you, everyone knows that so that's why i, I don't want to keep saying over and over for people who've been here, I don't, I guess if you've already been here, you know, that's what I'm going to be saying anyway. Yeah. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't bother you. I just worry that it's going to bother people, but. I think this group would tell you if something bothered you, that's like bothered true. us. We're that's at that point in our relationship that, you know, yeah. we tell you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Thank you for that. I agree with that. That's true. <laughs> That's what I like about it. We have all been doing this long enough together now. Like you two have always been around to the end of pretty much the end of everyone, every end of drawings. <laughs> I've, I've actually in the last little while I've stayed a lot longer than I normally have been because I've been so busy, but I have been so worn out working on my gallery that I just needed, I have needed something where I just, I just needed to check out completely. I needed to get back to uh, just sketching without thinking. I'm I'm in that I'm in I'm right now in that I'm right in, I'm right there right now. I haven't been there for a little while. That deer cat that deer cat thing that <laughs> that was the night that I that I gave everyone a freebie right. That was the one. Yeah. Yeah. That that night crushed me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what elements played into that, but ev everything was on the wrong. Everything was wrong about it. <laughs> like ours turned out really nice, but we were like in the beginning and halfway through. It's like, what are we doing? But they yeah. turned out really good. I, that's how I, I think everyone's turned out really good, but it, just the whole pro getting there was a, was too much of, was more of a struggle than the purpose of what these are supposed to be about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see one drawing out of that uh, session that I felt like, oh, well, that didn't make it. 
everything, every, everyone's words. <laughs> but I've liked the pace that we've been going at because I, the last few drawings, I have just said, you know what, I'm not gonna, I'm not necessarily a perfectionist, but I always just want to make sure everything's right. But it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just I want to make sure everything's right for everybody. I want to make sure, I want to, I want, I'm so, I want to be accommodating for everybody. Uh -huh. That's so stressful and it just like, it's not even, it, it gets so stressful that it doesn't even become fun anymore. And so the last like three drink and draw sessions, well, they did. The last two for sure, starting from the alien one. So yeah, the alien, the chimp, and then yeah, I was, I just was like, I want to just be free again. I just want, that's what the whole purpose of the drink and draws were. Like, I just want everyone to just be free. Let's just draw. Let's just hang out and draw. <laughs> but I, at early on, when I was first doing these drink and draw sessions, I was trying to make it. It's a struggle that I have my whole career, like being, I want to be professional because people collect my work, so I have to be professional. But at the same time, I'm not. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a person. Yeah. <laughs> and same with every, every professional and every celebrity in the world. They're all just people. Everyone's just a person and we're all just, yeah, you know, anyway. I just wanted I just want these to be fun. They are. I think you make it extremely affordable and extremely valuable experience. I feel really lucky that I came across these. Yeah, me too. Thank me you. Too. Thank you. Well, I love seeing your guys' drawings. <laughs> the bonus for me. Well, I'm going to use the water closet one more time and then I'll do 15 more minutes and then I'll probably even call it. Twice I've used water closet. If I may ask, what do you do in your real life, Susan? Um, I'm actually um, an art teacher in a city school district in Syracuse, New York. And um, I teach at two alternative education schools in the city. Um, so it's basically the, the special ed schools. Um, so I love drawing and painting, but mostly what I do as the art teacher is really heavy on like um, all the other things. So we do do some drawing and painting, but like my kids like, oh boy, do I ever need a lot of patience. And like they struggle, like I go over shading like so many times. And like even some of the high schoolers like really struggle to understand shading. Yeah. And they don't want to do it, but like I can get them really engaged in like paper mache 
or like more crafty type stuff or um, just like really kind of simple stuff. Like my students, they have a hard time focusing for long periods of time. So I have to tailor my lessons to that. And it's really different. Like I have a lot of fun but it's really different than when I was a student because I would be the one like sitting there drawing for hours and hours and hours. And like my classroom setting was more like this, like kind of quiet. Yeah. And then with the, the students I have, like they thrive on like more involved and like engaging and kind of like loud types of lessons. So yeah. It's really different. And I've adapted to it because I was a substitute teacher for five years. So I'm like really good at like chaos control <laughs> and making it fun. Yeah. Like I'm really good at making that kind of atmosphere fun. But it's not your ordinary kind of like art class. Yeah. Art class. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's cool. What a what is the age group? So I teach, uh, it's a two alternative education programs in the city schools. Um, so basically like the special ed schools and one of the schools is just high school. The other school is mostly elementary and middle school age. Yeah. Yeah. They also, they, they're also like grow up in an age where even like everything is quick, 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 quick. Everything's quick, quick information. Yeah. Shade this, like sh spending time to shade something is uh, hard to focus on. Yeah. Old generation, yeah. I just know my kids, like they, they, wa they watch these YouTube videos and <laughs> so quick, it's like a constant, there's no, like, even the people that are talking, they edit it so quickly that there's no breath in between sentences, just all information, just quick, quick, quick. Yeah. It's a bizarre, uh, yeah, it's, so I imagine that's quite different art classes and any, everything that, that you're learning is, everything's probably different. Yeah. Spending time on shading is something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's bizarre. It's a different time. I feel like everyone, whatever, uh, Again. Even though the, the process to get to something has changed, I, I, I still feel like the appreciation for something, for what you're looking at, will always be the same. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, not cool, but interesting. <laughs> <laughs> now, like this, my students love art. Like, they not always, they struggle with, like, so first of all, our class periods are, like, 40 minutes. When I was a student, we had, like, an hour and a half yeah. to draw. And um, so that right there, you can't get too much into the flow or draw, of drawing or painting. Um, so the kids that really do, like, drawing and painting, they take their stuff home with them and work on it at home too a lot. Um, but yeah, they, it, it's, it's a struggle to get into that like focused flow in class and they really, they really yeah. Really, yeah. yeah. Um, but so, and then the way that we have to structure our lesson, like there's a certain way that like, we have to structure the lesson so that I have to ask all of these um, critical questions uh, and yeah. <laughs> relate everything to like current events and um, like real world types of things and right. um, uh, really relevant teaching and it gets really intellectual and it can be interesting but like I like art just for getting into the really getting into the flow of making things yeah and so um but the lessons they've done that the best with um, were paper mache um, sculpture lessons with recyclables was a big hit. Uh -huh. um, but then sometimes, like I've had success, like teaching, um, like a drawing or painting tutorial. But I had to be very like specific. There's 
there's only a few kids that like, well, actually the little kids are really good with getting creative, but like the high schoolers are afraid of creative. Like a lot of them are just so afraid of creative thinking because they think like the other kids are going to bully them. Um, but there are like, there are a handful of the high schoolers that don't care and they like are really, really, really creative. And like I have, I have my group of art students that are just, they love art and they come into the room for lunch. Um, well, that's cool. But it's, it's a different kind of experience. <laughs> um, what do you do for work, if you don't mind me asking, um, Lisa? I'm a massage therapist. Oh! So, yeah, going back was a little scary, but um, I'm there. We were in the first phase to go back, which no one understood why. Because all of a sudden, you know, you're in the grocery store, you have to stay away from everyone and then you go to work and you're touching everyone <laughs> but i love my job um but uh yeah this has been a really good um good therapy good therapy is the drawing and the, the crafts when i come home because yeah. um all day i'm like a bartender and everyone is all i hear all day now is covid 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 and how it's changed their lives and how they're fed up and it's like it's nice to come home and not think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so true. I sometimes feel guilty about like wanting to provide a space for that, but then at the same time I'm like, oh, I I just I am just a person. I, we're, we're all just people. No one knows what the hell is going on. We're all just trying to survive in this world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it is. It's like none of us. No, there's not one person in the world, no matter what news station covers it or any professional says, nobody's been through this. No one knows what's happening. Yeah. So we you just be good to each other and be safe and... And draw. <laughs> and and unfortunately for you, Lisa, like you can't do virtual uh <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it on Facebook where you know they've got everything on all the gear and then they're raking someone with an actual rake and throwing balls at them. It's like Yeah, I got sent that a lot. It's like, yeah, oh that would be so tempting to do, but I mean, really, so if you're doing a massage, like if you're doing some sort of therapy, you're wearing, you're wearing a mask probably, right? A mask and a visor? Yeah. Um, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so it's awesome because it's just not awesome, but in a sarcastic way, just because you're all fogged up, right? Right, yeah. But um, I usually do that when we're more face-to-face, -face, like if they're face up and I'm working on their neck, if they're face down, they don't have to wear a mask because um, they can't breathe. I right. found out, yeah, I forgot to warn my very first patient that he didn't have to wear the mask and he was making noises. <laughs> it's like, he's so polite to tell me he couldn't breathe. Yeah. Canadian, hey? <laughs> so when you're doing it, when you're doing a session, uh, if they're, when they're face down, they don't have to wear the mask. Well, it's no. When they roll up, they got to wear the mask. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. They're probably really good with like the anatomy, anatomy parts, what the names are, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to like, you have to, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you have to memorize all like the muscles and stuff. Well, I think I I have no nothing else I can add to this guy. I mean, I'm sure there is plenty more I can add, but he looks great. I think I'm happy with it. Hmm. So, what do you do with these ones from Drink and Draw? I don't know yet. <laughs> 
No, really, like, yeah, it's funny, like, so over here, there's a, that's all a pile, well, you can't really see it from this, but there's a pile of original drawings, like, some of my original, like, this is kind of sickening, but I have some of my original drawings in here that are on my high end, like, <laughs> for some of the big collectors, like, so these are like, <laughs> I hate to admit this, but, I think this one goes on, this one's on the website. This is a $12,000 original pen drawing. <laughs> oh, interesting. But these ones I were just, I was shooting videos of. Um, um, but yeah, like, here, look, here's that dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just, I've been, I'm serious. Uh, my gallery work has been so busy, like, after I leave here and I, well, after I log out from here, this is going to sit on this desk and, <laughs> and all my phone, everything's just going to sit here because uh -huh. uh, I got to get to work. So it's all just piled for right now, but I, I have intentions to do something with it. It's just like, after, like these drink and draws are, they're a lot of fun, but they, they, they drain me. Um, <laughs> Uh, I talk, yeah, I mean, I talk way more than I normally do, which is, you know, it's that's drain. That's like mentally draining. Yeah. And so, uh, after this, I'm gonna, I, I will never, I won't walk into this room for another four days <laughs> <laughs> to stay away. But yeah, I'm gonna do something with it. I'm like I said, I was talking. I, I might make like a little flip book with them, and then mm -hmm. I, I've been. In the winter, that's usually when financially for me it gets really tough. Well, I mean everything's crazy, but I mean throughout a year, I have collectors that I can, you know, I'll be at a show or the, or something, but that's not happening right now. So this winter is probably going to be even more um, what like uh, dire. So that's usually when I'll I'll do something where I'm like. I'll just do, I'll just give, I'll just sell these uh, originals, just sketches at like for really cheap, you know, like for a hundred dollars. That, I know a hundred dollars is not cheap. I'm not acting like it is, but comparatively like to an original drawing that I sell for thousands of yeah. dollars, yeah. I don't have, you know, but that's kind of where I think I'm going to end up doing with the original sketches that I'm doing. I'll just kind of auction them off. And for me, it's not about like it's never been this way never in my life where i've just got to like oh i gotta grab all this money <laughs> I, I just know that for me to be able to do the work that i'm doing i can't have a regular job and so all i like i just i have to get paid for my work i just uh, and and if you want me to con not you personally you guys but if any collectors <laughs> want me to keep continuing to make my work, I can only have time to just create artwork, and that's it. <laughs> so that that costs money, and it's also an investment. I have people that bought for my original pieces for fifty dollars twenty years ago, and now those are worth several thousands of dollars. So, you know, but I, I, there is gonna something's gonna happen with them. I just don't know what yet. I was scroll I was scrolling through my my sketchbook of like some of the other ones, and I hate them when I'm working on them. He <laughs> draws like I like I don't hate them, but you know I'm like oh my gosh like. But then I like went back and like I'm happy with the way that turned out. <laughs> now I look at it, I'm like wow that's decent. It's fun. It's nothing I would try to like. You know, sell as one of my main original pieces but i'm so happy <laughs> with it so i'll just i'll end up auctioning them off or something but i am going to make a little flip book i think i think that's i think i'm going to make a little flip book of all of them because mm -hmm. the drink and draw sessions started as part of this whole yeah this whole thing that's how it began and that's part of everyone's history and and uh I remember when 9-11 happened, that was such a thing mm. that, like, that I just remember it that that's the only major worldwide event 
I wasn't alive, you know, when World War II and all, I mean, it's one of those things that I just remember that moment it happened. I remember every moment about it. Yeah. And uh, so everyone's going to have those stories with this particular moment we're in. And I think these drink and draws are part of that for us, <laughs> those of us that have been part of it. Because that's where it began for me. I was like, well, what do we do? Let's just hang out and draw together and try to. It's definitely know. been my favorite event of the pandemic. Has been looking forward to the drink and draw events. Well, thank you. I I, thank I you. think it's probably been mine as well. I I have working on my gallery has been my way to just check out completely. Um, but if I didn't have my gallery, that actually I didn't when we were in Salt Lake City when I first started doing the drink and draws. Yeah, this was my my way to just check out collectively because I can check out pretty easily <laughs> but with a with a group of people who are all experiencing the same thing but all across the, the, the world it's been nice yeah yeah thank you guys thank you can I thank see what you. you guys are drawing can I check them out and then I'm gonna check out and uh, kill my pillow oh let me see I've done no, no, I've do my let's see let me how do I do this <laughs> all right oh awesome i love that visor i do too that's yeah. such a great idea what is it what is it what does your say up there grass grasshoppers grasshoppers in solidarity with all insects all other insects oh, brilliant. Way, to pull, way to pull it in that's i'm trying great. to develop my own like artistic yeah, style so That's I, awesome. I'm trying to add origami into as much of my stuff as I can. But yeah. it's That's awesome. Good death. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. All right, Lisa, here we go. Let's see you. Oh. Nice. Yes. Flies. <laughs> I really like the light bulb idea and then and then the, the flies busting out of there. It's brilliant. Well, I tanked the balloon, so I have to do something else. <laughs> awesome. There you go. <laughs> you right, can only use yeah. so much black. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah, it can just become, uh, yeah, it can just be completely, uh, we can black it out. <laughs> well, I have put on my uh, yep. compression glove. <laughs> uh, thank you, too, for hanging out there and I, I see there's a couple other people that are still here but they probably are not here anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah you guys have been great you, you, you've been fun to hang out with <laughs> if you end up posting your 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 pictures just I, I i i will get a tremendous laugh out of if you were to uh uh, tag at Johnny Ritchie on there. He will not like it so much. <laughs> That's what I love about it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna. I'll. I'll also um, send the videos out to every, the links to the video. They're. They're video. They're. I put them on my YouTube page. You can only actually view them if you've been sent the link. Okay. So it's not like they're just out there. So if you if you if you participated, then you get the then you can watch it. Uh, I can't wait to see you guys in person at some point when we get past this. Yeah, that would be awesome. In my gallery, I'll give you guys freebie stays at the at the. <laughs> I promise you, I will. Yeah, as soon as we can get, as soon as the gallery's done, and as soon as either one of you two are ready to travel and want to just come stay at the gallery, I'll give you a free a free stay at the gallery at the at the B and B and and because uh, you guys you guys have always stuck around and. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cool. Awesome. Right. Have a good Have night. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.